it. You'll learn why. <laughs> Hello! Oh. And welcome! Whoa! Whoa! So Whoa. blown out! So bright! So bright, so out of focus! <laughs> Let's just tweak that very quick. Oh no, there it, oh! Uh, you can do it, Chris uh, Trot. Uh, uh, hey. Hey. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Now restart. Perf, mate. Going live in three. <laughs> Skiri! <laughs> Hello! Welcome <laughs> to High Rollers D&D. My Dungeons name. and Dragons show here on twitch.tv forward slash Jugscast and twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers DND. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me, we have. Got Rhiannon, Hello. Chris Trot. Kim will be here. She's running a little bit late. Yeah, she'll be here. Um, she'll literally, she's just going to run in when she gets here. Uh, she's running late. On the other side, we have Tommy, Tommy H. Hello. And Kate Morris. <laughs> Hi. Um, I want to retract my statements last week. About Tommy B being my favourite Tom, Tommy H will always be my favourite Tom. Yeah. Oh, wow. he's backpedalling. I'm backpedalling. That's great. B. That's great. I love it. I How can you say that about great. Tommy B. Yeah, I will. I'll I mean, say it to his face. I heard you saying it on <laughs> the photo ship stream as well, but it's fine. It's fine. Welcome to a new episode of High Rollers. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. We're back. Uh, don't forget, we've got extra bonus DD today. But before we go into that, why don't we hear a little bit from our regular sponsor, DD Beyond, Chris Trot. Oh, Bam. D&D Beyond is a very easy to use tool, so I'm going to put it to the test by trying to explain D&D Beyond to the simplest creature I know. Oh, no. Smeek the Goblin. <laughs> and have him create a character in record time. Oh good. Okay, how is this going to work? actually making a character. He's this actually doing amazing. it. So we'll be with you in like another 20 minutes or something. 20 minutes? No, this is D&D Beyond. <laughs> yeah. Easily done, super very fast. Very easily done. Fun. Yeah, so um, yeah. Let me just, just go on the dndbeyond.com website right now, ready for Is it Smeek. dndbeyond.com? Uh, yeah. You yeah. should know that by now, Mark. All right, am I, all right. Okay. I need someone to translate my goblin for me. Who wants to do it? <laughs> you want to translate my goblin does. for the audience at Rhiannon home. Does. Shall I translate your goblin? Yeah. Got out of that one. Smeek! Gobble, 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 Am I just reading this? Yeah, one? read a bullet by bullet. <laughs> okay. Smeek, you strong, proud goblin, ready to die in a big heroic way, yes? <laughs> but big bad problem if you die in boring way, yes? <laughs> Don't understand, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no worry, Smeek. Me got special something. You create fake people and make them die. <laughs> then pick best heroic death for you, understand? <laughs> okay, let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> this very simple process, not like Smeek. Smeek smart, strong, and brave. DNDBeyond.com. <laughs> <laughs> Use finger, tap link. DNDBeyond.com. <laughs> Make really, really dumb guy. Remember elf with fancy clothes? Quick build. Tap quick build to make level one character in seconds. Oh my god. Elf. Then choose race, elf, choose class. He's done it. It was that quick. He made one. He's called. He's done it. Fly and ret. It was that easy. He did it. He did it. <laughs> he swore at me, but I think that's a sign of endearment. So check out dndbeyond.com and you can make a character just like Smeek. Called what, it? what did I make? Fly and Rhett. Fly and Rhett. Flynn Rhett. Flynn Rhett. I believe he's a hobgoblin barbarian, I think yes. I made. I don't know. Oh, fun. You're meant to make an elf. Nope. No, Smeek no, didn't do that. Smeek, Smeek, does, Smeek, Smeek does, once. Exactly. <laughs> but if he can make a character, you can too. Anyone can. Bam. Look how quickly I made easy. that as well. Yeah. Like, so I literally easy. made that All the stats are there is already Man. done. That wasn't even literally it. ready to play. That That's was my really next quick. character. Flynn <laughs> really What stats has he got? Flynn Rowe. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> 14, 10, 17, 13, 13, charisma 8. Is that all Is that stat of the right? Yeah. Literally done. Full character ready to play. There you go. Bam. That easy. And that's all with D&D Beyond. Was there anything else you needed to add before I ruined your thing by like making the character I wanted? Uh, no. There you that's go. It. That's everything. <laughs> that's <laughs> everything. That's how easy it is I kept it, it sure. Yeah, I well, love it. Even a goblin can do it. Even a dumb goblin can a do dumb, it. Dumb, dumb goblin. <laughs> um, don't forget, we still have brand new shirts over on store.yogscast.com. Yeah. We've got 
the Sentry uh, bundle, Sentry bundle, which is a Paladin shirt and the Sentry shirt. Uh, you can go get those out. They're out for pre-order now. Make None sure you go and get those. None of us are wearing those. it. That was super useful. I got one. Go team. One. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing a dress, so I didn't get, no. It wasn't happening. We, we all I mean, I'm going to move on from the shirts, but don't forget, if you do go to store.yogscast.com... Bag's too big. Bag's too big. If you do go to store.yogscast.com, you can get 10% off the whole order, whether it includes high roller stuff or not. Just use the code high rollers uh, at checkout, get 10% off your order. If you order over £100, worldwide shipping is free. So if you live in the US, I know that our US store doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. So order from the UK store, get your friends together, Can do a big group order. Maybe you want yeah, some lucky. maybe you want some hat <laughs> film <laughs> stuff, maybe you want some flux buddy stuff. Maybe the new bodega book. Maybe the new bodega some book, which stuff. I know like Tom's really I excited am about. So excited about that. Oh my uh, god. It is pretty cool that Perina has written a bodega book. Yeah, that is really is fucking cool and you should buy it. It's and use the code high rollers <laughs> to get 10% off. Uh, so don't forget to go and do that. That's gonna be awesome. Last thing. Uh, we have a brand new mini series uh, which is ongoing at the moment. It's called Lightfall's Descent. Um, it's over on the DD Twitch channel. It's directly after Erois. So when Erois finishes, yeah. go over to twitch.tv forward slash DD. There will be another stream finishing up. This is something that was brought to my attention that I wanted to raise. Rise of, Rivals of Waterdeep is still finishing when our stream finishes here. So they're on before we start Lightfall's Descent. Be nice, go say hi, but you know, don't go in there and be rude. There was a couple of instances of people obviously being very excited for high rollers, but don't forget that there is another stream finishing, guys. Respect the streamers, yo. Respect the yeah. streamers. Yeah. Um, but uh, straight after this, go to twitch.tv forward slash DD, watch the very end of Rivals of Waterdeep, and then we will be on with Lightfall's Descent straight after that. Uh, it's episode three, well, technically four, actually. Yeah. Um, they're in hell. It's the Lightfall characters, and <laughs> they're in hell. hell. They're in my favorite place. It's not going great. It's, no. it's, it's not. It's not ideal. It's going Alpha's having a wonderful I'm a, time. I'm not Rhiannon, on holiday. Rhiannon, I've never seen somebody <laughs> willing to sacrifice their souls so fast. It's great. It's great. Um, but it's yeah. good time. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised. Got to put this away. Hey! <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey! And with that, uh, I don't believe there's anything else I need to mention. No. Mm, not today. Oh, I think you need to say, "Let's roll the intro." Let's play the heroic intro. I said roll. Got it wrong. Welcome back! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? <laughs> no, that can't do that. Can't use that one. What? Welcome back to Erois. Last time our adventurers travelled to the city of Gusthaven, the sky city of Gusthaven. Home of one Lucius Virian Luci Elowin Elanasto. <laughs> Luci it's been a year, Mark! I can't. I can barely see <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh no, <laughs> we're angering him! <laughs> Home of Lucius Elanasto. Virian Elowin. Uh, <laughs> the Even party a having drink. arrived via transportation provided by Piri uh, and his uh, planar transportation device. Um, which had been friend. fixed in the midwife's forged. With a new resurrected sentry, they fought off what appeared to be bandits or pirates of some form in a warehouse um, and were then promptly, uh, not arrested, but taken into custody by the uh, city watch of Gusthaven. Mm. There, they met a elven mage called Elois, uh, Elois uh, who has broken the news that the Elanasto family estate was destroyed in an explosion and the Elanasto family killed. Having revealed this information to Lucius, taken him before the Sky Prince of Gusthaven, the party then went on to the church, the uh, Star, Mo uh, Star, bleh, Star Sorrow Cathedral, 
uh, where they acquired the assistance to resurrect Quillock and Kolar. Yeah. Having done, having provided the materials from Lucius's new wealth, which has been bequeathed to him in a will, uh, the party acquired the electrum, uh, the platinum and ethereum rod necessary to channel the raised dead spell, and Quillock was brought back to the world of the living, but not before a brief conversation with his god Hesper and a new boon being given to him. And we pick things up as Quill, you are seated still on the altar of uh, the Star Star Sorrow Cathedral. Um, your friends around you uh, with this new power. And you can see out of both eyes, to you the world appears you know, as if your vision has been fixed. But for the rest of you, when you, when you look at Quill, you cannot mistake that one of his eyes was previously damaged, and there's probably still a, a terrible scar like down the, the outline of his of, of his face. Um, but the eye itself is healed, but instead of an iris, it has a swirling storm cloud that occasionally crackles with lightning. Yeah, I've just taken off the blindfold as well. The eye patch, yeah. It. How does it look? Be honest. That's weird! Is it good? It's weird! It's like, they're fascinating. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a storm, but in your eye. Oh, I can't really see it. It's probably better because I know you don't. Oh, like there's a bit storms. of lightning. Is there? Yeah. Oh, that's in... that's kind of cool. Wait a minute. Wait. Sorry. Wait. Come get in the hubble. Come get in the snake. Still here. I'm... What's a snake? Oh, snake. Bye, no, no. Quill. He knows me. Yeah. We could. We, well, you see. Uh... How long has it been? Century. Uh... Century is back. Big hug. We got century back. How quill you... a big hug? Ow! How oh. did you? So, uh, yeah, um... It's a very long story. Okay, and but we're in Gusthaven? Yeah. I know that much. Yes. How long has it been since... What, uh, since Quill died? Since, since Quill died, how long has it been? I think I have it at about... Four years. It's been, <laughs> it's been, been about five to six days. Quill! <laughs> five to six days? <laughs> oh, good to see you. It's been five to six days. <laughs> Is that it? You work quick. You managed to get both me and Sentry in such a short time. Yeah, but only because we have... Uh, oh, God, there's so much. And I have zero tech. We've been carrying your body for about five to six days. We got Sentry back. Smeek knows who you are because we've been carrying, you know, you with oh, us I'm for sorry. a bit. Um, no, it's fine. You're not as heavy as Sentry, for ah, the record. Well. For the record. Um, You're very light. Yeah. It's Nova speaking, obviously. Perfect. And yeah, Sentry was, looks it, better. The goblin is trying to climb up you and is like looking Speak. in your storm Speak. eye. He's like pointing at Quill's eye. How harmless. He like climbs down. How Very harmless. harmless, but he seems to have grown attached to anyone who has any form of lightning, stormy powers. So like now... His, he's on his knees and he's praising both you and Ayla. I can see why he's so attached. He's really... He, he, he was a stowaway. We didn't want to bring him, but he's somehow here. Right. Okay. Well, a friend is a friend. Um, that's good. There is also a fire ganassi stood there, awkwardly, at the back, not saying anything. Oh, this is Perry. Perry, hey. this is Quill. Hey, Bird, yeah, yeah, we uh, <laughs> kind of spent a long time Get trying to bring out. you back. Get your arm out, he's got two arms. Kind of spent a long time <laughs> trying to bring you back, and uh, you know, the guys, they saved me in Voxar, that's where I landed, and I think it was just after you, um, you know, did the thing. Uh, you know, you mean died. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Put your arm away when you're talking as Quill. Damn it! <laughs> this is, don't make this more <laughs> difficult than it needs <laughs> to be! No, I'm you made making. it difficult for yourself. I didn't make it difficult. Lucius made it difficult by saying, oh, we're going to have a long conversation. No, I mean, week. you made it difficult <laughs> for yourself last week. in that you decided that you would put your arm behind your back every time you were talking as Quill, so that was your, that was your thing. It's role-playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll carry on with the role-playing then. Um, we'll jump right in. Uh, where was I? Which character was I in? Which headspace? Uh, is, is, this what, is this what it's like to be you? Yes. It sucks. <laughs> it's hard. It sucks. When I have to have a conversation with my house. Hey, she yeah. is. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Sorry. Get stuff mic'd up. Having a real fucker a day. Yeah, that's okay, mate. It's good. We've you've, literally you've just interrupted started. Interrupted at the perfect time as well. Yeah. Because Perry no, and don't Quill interrupt. Were talking. She's not here yet. No, she is. It's fine. No, she is. Perry and Quill are having a really nice long conversation with them. <laughs> Okay. We've only just started. Okay, so so you, you helped these guys bring me and I guess Sentry back as well? 
Yeah, yeah, I guess. I, I have like, like, this watch that I can use to teleport, and um, and yeah, it, 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 we, we got out of Voxar, we brought you here, we had to go through a load of stuff to get a load of materials and things, and they put it in your chest, and now you're back, but your eye's fixed, so that's cool. Um, there, kind of from the rest of the group, you see a elderly, graying haired, maybe in a 60s to a 70s half-elf woman dressed in priestly robes, um, bearing the symbol of Siaska, the holy symbol of Siaska, half, half kind of circle with stars over it, basically. And she steps forward. Um, I do hate to interrupt, but I felt that I should, well, greet you, given what your friends have told me is true. Uh, My name is Lights, I am um, Lightseer Eris. Lightseer Oh yeah, I told her that you were like the chosen of Hesper, you know all that. <coughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah, that's me. Um, just a chosen of Hesper, just doing what he tells me. <laughs> uh, normally being a chosen is a little bit more involved than simply doing what he's told, but I wondered if I could speak with you in private briefly. I know that you have just been um, reconnected with your friends, okay. but there is something which the gods have been speaking to their servants about that I should speak to you about. Okay. Um, something you may not be aware of since your disappearance from the earthly realm. Right, well that sounds important. I'd love to recap everyone, but god stuff. So... Oh yeah. I, it, it. Will not, it will not take too long. Bring him back, and he immediately runs away. To I'll be back. I'll be back thing. as soon as I can. I really want to find out what's been happening with everybody. Well, I'm curious to find out what the gods have to say, honestly. So that sounds important. I'll try and share everything I can. Step this way, please. Okay. She gestures off to a side room, um, like a small sm a side chapel in this great big cathedral. She leads you down uh, through beautifully marbled stone corridors, stained glass windows depicting various imagery of all the gods into a smaller uh, private chapel. There's a small altar at one end, a few pews, um, a small font, um, and she leads you inside. <sighs> the reason that I bring you to speak privately is because this information is it could cause great panic amongst the populace. Right. You say Hesper speaks with you. On your return, did you hear from him? I did. He, um, he mentioned, well, I asked him where I was heading back to, mm. and he also gave me this gift. Uh, A rare gift? I have an idea of what it does, but, well, we'll see when I put it to use. Well, you all, you'll know more of that. He did not mention the threat. He did reiterate my mission to go back to the Valley of Storms to figure out the source of the storms there and I guess clear it. Uh, and that there'd be a weapon for me, or well, a weapon, a, an asset to our cause. Your cause? Um, well. I guess we'll take things one step at a time. What have you heard? <laughs> so there is a glint of... She kind of reads more from you than perhaps you might want. Well, the gods are currently in council. Being a, being a priestess of Siaska, we no longer speak with the Star Mother. We feel her presence in the cradle, but she does not speak to us anymore. But the other gods, perhaps, with reverence to their mother, still send us messengers. I spoke with a chosen of Sayana. She sent me a message from Horizon. The tyrant has returned to Erois. Hesper was the one who told the rest of the gods. He said that he had witnessed one of his followers in Callus Starbane's presence. That he had emerged from one of the old archways that had been activated by some cultists or some such. Gosh. <laughs> poker face, poker face. <laughs> I'm real glad I'm not there. I'm glad Nova's not there. <laughs> this is a grave threat. 
We've done our best to locate what information we can, but Hesper has been difficultly silent with many of his followers about details. I was wondering if you might know more, if he had said anything to you. How many chosen does each god have? I don't know. Okay. Do you feel that he has said something to another? Possibly. He's guiding me on a path, and honestly, the messages I get from him are sometimes very cryptic. As yet, the first message was to resurrect Sentry. Hmm. Then to bring all my friends together, to get to the Valley of Storms, and then maybe he'll contact me again afterwards with this information on how to proceed from there. If the God of Wisdom and the God of Magic has instructed you to put an end to the storms and find this relic you mentioned, I imagine that doing so will be of use against the enemy, against Starbane. But you should mention this to the Sky Prince. I know that he wishes to put... The Sky Prince is very... He has a lot of good in his heart, but I feel that some of his ideas are a little naive. He would like to see Aroes united, and he begins that with the Sky Cities. Uh, he knows of the threat, and he is trying to make preparations for it. He knows about Starbane? Yes, yes. Many, most of the leaders of Aroes have been informed, right. but sadly not all of them are as selfless as, as the Sky Prince. Many of them do not wish to believe it, Many of them are perhaps trying to see if they can face the storm alone. It is difficult trying to make them work together, and the gods are tricky. Some of them are being quiet on the issue, some of them are trying to help. Um, Sayana, I know, is, is keen to try and do what she can to assist mortals in this. But since the gods have retreated to their halls of resplendence, they have been harder to communicate with in time. If you hear anything from Hesper, please contact a more senior authority in any of the temples. The Sky Prince. The Sky Prince is the leader here in Gusthaven, but there is also uh, the Grand Dean of the Imperion Archives. That's the Temple of Hesper here. But there are also many other temples. If your travels take you somewhere, if you hear from Hesper, if you have any information on the forces of Callus, please tell them. Yes. This is something we need to face all together. Yes, I understand. I will keep this information quiet. If this gets out to the public, this could cause panics of unprecedented degrees. Of course, of course. Um, do you know of any, um, well, the Court of Shadows or, or, or anything like that, Remnant, do you know how active, how powerful they are in Sky Cities? In Sky City, here in Gusthaven, I have heard of from stories from travelers, but we've never had them attack here. Uh, the remnant have always been a problem of the lowlands. Um, sky piracy, if they had any working airships, they've certainly never attacked here. Okay, okay. Um, well, I will do whatever I can. And I suppose Sky Prince, place to go in case I hear anything. Yes. Be respectful, obviously, but yes, if you, I will send word that I have spoken with you and that you are a chosen of, of the Sky Lord. Okay. Um, would it be a good idea to try to meet up with the other chosen? If you can find them. I'm afraid I have no idea of how to identify them. The only reason that I trusted you to be one is because, well, your friend wasn't lying. Whether she was wrong, whether she was mistaken about your heritage, I do not know. But that power in your eye, that is clearly a gift from the Lord of Magic. Okay. But I, at least well, I was willing to go out on a little faith that your friend believed that you were a chosen. Well, thank you for believing them, for believing in me. It's fine. I'll let you go back to them now, but I just wish to let you give you awareness of the situation. Thank you. I'll do whatever I can. Thank you. And then she'll open the door and you can lead you back to the others and then part ways. 
So you will see Quill return. And you're currently stood in this main cathedral, this long, open, beautiful plaza. I'm just trying to stop Smeek from breaking anything. Yeah, he's not really. He doesn't really try and break anything, but he's curious he's about everything. Excited. He's handsy. He's grabby. He's grabby. He's like constantly. He's like trying to like bite the wood on the pews. Like he's like he's licking teasing. stuff. He's just like sniffing around. <laughs> right, core returns. So, so, so Ayla. Hi. Goblin. Big hammer. Bigger hammer. I don't remember it being this big. Oh, it's it's a bit different. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's it's all sweet. lightning on it now. And yeah. Stuff, but we haven't fully tested it, but it's it seems to still smack people in the head real good. Well, that's good. Sentry, bigger um, armor. Was that part of the when you were brought back? Yeah, the uh, the forge fully repaired me back in uh, Merske. What even is 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 this armor what you were like back in Solwyn? Upgrade. Very cool. Thank you. Nova. I'm married now. Sorry. Psych. <laughs> four days. That's pretty quick. No, but Tian Gong's bigger. I hold up Tian Gong. You found it's... more shards. Yeah. So, mm, yeah. Remember in the same room with the bad. Oh yeah. No. Sorry. Things are a little bit hazy around that sort of time. I understand. It was kind of a big rush, and then all of a sudden. Yeah, sorry I couldn't batter through a wall of force. It was a wall it of was, force. It was really it was, annoying, actually. It was a lot of a lot of a lot of mistakes were made by everyone, including me. Mostly me. Mainly me. Mostly the person who killed me. Mostly that person, I would say. Yeah. But pretty much gonna pin it all on her, actually. If I'm honest. Let's do that. We'll go with no faults on our end. A hundred percent faults on their end. They are. Uh, dealt with, right? Yeah, we should talk about that too. Maybe we should go somewhere a little bit better to talk yeah. about. Dealt with, but, but bad news. Bad news. Okay. You know, because it's us and there's never good news. Right. P Perry looks is like, I'm the, I'm as lost as you are. They won't tell me anything. Thank you. I mean, um, I'm going to tell you if you don't. You just weren't paying attention. Typical Perry. <laughs> I don't listen to anything she says, especially. Mm -hmm. She talks a lot. She does talk a lot, but she says a lot of important things. Very sure. quickly. Thank you, Quill. Very quickly. We went to the same school. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Amazing. He doesn't remember it. No, okay. He doesn't well, remember a lot from it, apparently. Okay, okay, okay. One well, and too many hits in the face. Okay, well. Well, anyway. thank you anyway. But, Lucius? <laughs> it's really good to see you again, Bertie. Mm -hmm. And he'll dead inside. very quietly just walk up to you and give you a nice, gentle hug. Uh, thank, thank you. <laughs> um, with your fixed eyesight, I mean, Lucius looks like he's barely slept. He, he's, his eyes are quite red, dark circles underneath his eyes. He doesn't look okay. Because your perception is back to normal. Mm -hmm. Did, um, <laughs> did, uh, you know with Sentry we asked her questions? Did you? Do that with me? Yep. What sort of questions did you ask? Did you ask my favorite color? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure I did. Did you ask his favorite color? You asked if uh, you were best friends. Oh, he asked Lucious. if you were best friends. You want to know what you said? I mean, I think I know what I said. You said, I guess so. And it was real silly. Anyway, we did ask some important questions. Very hence silly. why you're still an Arakocra. I don't think it was that silly, but okay, uh, okay. It was a silly question. I thought it was very important to me. I thought it was fine. Things are great. We should probably catch up on other things. Quill. We, we yes. have nothing better to ask you anyway. I don't have anything to say. I feel very uncomfortable today. Okay, okay. Well, we go and just well, somewhere I'm, I'm, else. I'm gonna go. Um, oh. I'm gonna get out of here. Before you go. Me? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you going back to Wartensar? Yeah, probably. Um, and I'm gonna dig out my bag. Could you give this to my parents? I'm just gonna hand over a letter. Sure, where are they? Um, if you got you, an address? Yeah. Just give if me the address. You, I'll find it. 
If you go to the water quarter, there's a the water quarter. Huh, that rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. Good old classic water quarter. Yeah. Um, right next to the lava plaza. But yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite place. I love the lava there, plaza. Actually. Yeah, yeah, it's quite central. Um, but anyway, there's a food stall called the Voyager's Rest. Um, my mom. Voyager's my Rest. Yeah, my mom and my grandma run it. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I'll send that back. Thank you. As long as I don't get into trouble with my guys, but. I'm sure it'll be fine. They'll, they'll give you some food as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I love free food, so okay. <laughs> uh, he's like, well, it was great. Uh, I'm sorry about the bad stuff. Uh, I'm happy about the good stuff. Great to meet you, but I hope I never find you again. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. 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 I appreciate his offer. This flaming man just starts running away. Oh, man. Sneak ways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Sky City, Gusthaven, mm. away from Voxar, mm. shall we, you said you wanted Lucius, to... Lucius, is there a good place that we can go and catch Quill up on, you know, everything, ever? Is there more? Oh, there's a lot, Quill, it's fine. Um, I don't know any safe places. Hmm. I mean, walking through the city, you would have seen uh, signposts and adverts for hotels. There are no taverns here. There are hotels where you can rent rooms to sleep and stay. And then there are places called uh, cuisineries, cuis cu cuisineries, which are basically restaurants, but they are normally government approved and citizens rather than making their own food go to there and exchange rations to get a meal. Um, because food is heavily regulated in the Sky Cities because it has population control. The so, only thing I can think of is to see where my nanny is, mm. Mm. I can trust her and the place she would be would be safe and quiet and secure. Safe and quiet and secure. Sounds good. This is Gusthaven, right? Uh, Why don't we try and find her and I can catch Quill up on the way about what's happened so that we're all yes. on the same page. So Lucius, uh, for your benefit, the there's lots of places Nanny No Fear could live, and you don't necessarily know where. Did they? Did I get information last week about it? I'm pretty you sure you asked so. for she it. She lives in her own residence. Yeah. She lives in yeah. her own residence. I remember telling um, you that. Did you ask for like her address or something from someone? It was um, the older dude. Elois. Oh, Elois. You asked the old. The, uh, the, Elois. Yeah, the what mage. Called? Elois. Uh, the stave. 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 Was yeah, okay, in that case he would have provided you an address which is located in a district called The Breeze, which is a, an, an urban, like a living district. It's like a domestic district. Okay. Um, and it is something like flat four of, and then there's like a building address. Um, Should be able to figure it out. Right? Yeah, you, I mean, you're not, you went out into the city. When you, when you were younger, you know Gusthaven very well. Um, you know the districts, you know the streets, you can pretty much anywhere that you say you want to go to, you can just go there, as long as you know where you're going. So the only problem with Nanny No Fear is you never knew where she lived outside of the estate. Um, but finding it in Gusthaven itself, you can lead everybody there. Gusthaven is a big place, um, so when you emerge out of the Noble District, because so far you've pretty much travelled between Noble District, the Palace, and then the Ethereum refineries, we kind of like glossed over a bit of travel last time. But just so you know, this is a huge city. It's like trying to get around London, or like central London, not like, you know, London boroughs. How much time was passed between putting Quill in the uh, cathedral, going out to get the thing and then coming back? Probably a couple of that, like a good while. It's probably, okay. it's probably evening time. <coughs> so you're probably looking at like, the sun has gone down, um, I mean, it is nighttime, you can see the cradle above. Um, the whole city is illuminated by magical lights, like lampposts, which have burning lights, like flames, that just magically come on at night um, and just illuminate the whole city. But nothing really stops. Kind of like if you've ever visited places like London or New York, even though it's dark, people are just going about business as normal. They walk up and down the street, people are out having late dinners. It, it's, you know, no real change has taken place. Was Quill, Quill was alive when Sentry died, yeah. but wasn't there for the resurrection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
figuring out the... To get around the city, the quickest way to get about is to hire Pegasus, uh, Pegasi carriages, which are carriages with Ethereum, very minor Ethereum engines that levitate the carriage and then Pegasi basically take them Yes. Yeah. Uh, that cuts down the travel. You can hail them from pretty much anywhere. Um, you literally, Lucius, you've taken these dozens of time. You literally stick an arm out and click your fingers and they normally come down and pick I've you up. I've never done the arm thing. You normally had somebody else do it <laughs> for you. Yeah. You've seen it done. You know what, how to call them down. Um, and yeah, they'll take you pretty much anywhere in the city and the where you want to go depends on the price. Um, they're not cheap. They are meant as basically like, they're kind of like black cams in the to only tourists and people that have a lot of money use them. They've got a monopoly um, on the business. Yeah. Um, otherwise you're walking. So, how much? Well, so yeah, if you hail one down, if you want to go to the breeze, it will probably cost you from where you are twenty gold. Or we could walk. How long would it take to walk? Hours. Oh. It's a big city. Let's call it. Let's summon a Pegasi. It'd be worth it, and you you'll love it. You will. Smeek will die for it. I'm totally on board for this. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, so where are we going? Breeze. Uh, I will take Quill side while you discuss Pegasus I. <laughs> and just tell him. I'll check Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have some sort of fancy name for it, but no. Um, in fact, I think actually, do you know what would be a common thing? Because it's mainly high elves up here. Probably a common thing to like high elves get preferential treatment for a lot of stuff, oh, and they'll probably you probably conjure a dancing light or a or a light spell, and that's like a cab, like you kind of like it's how you signal one down. That's it. Yeah, but, but it's, it's very like because it's only a cantrip. But it's not high elf focused at this point. Yeah, Gust Haven's like but it's seventy percent high elves. Oh, I thought it was also a refugee. Yeah, there are people that have come up to live here. But old habits die hard. Like, it, it, you know, it's more the case of, it's less kind of like, um, you know, people look down on other races, but high elves use magical lights that they can summon, man like, you know, easily. And then the carriage riders are like, oh, someone needs picking up. Whereas other people are like trying to like get their attention See, manually and it just becomes like a thing. Yeah. Ability. So it's like a little minor, like, little thing. Okay. Like, there's no, there's not discrimination against refugees here. Like, I was to say, it was always one of the most welcoming sky cities. One, it's one of the most welcoming, it's, it is the most welcoming sky city. But it's still predominantly high elves that live here. Cool. Mainly because it's so limited in how much space there is, that if somebody new wants to move in, somebody has to leave. Yeah. And yeah. Gusthaven won't kick people out unless they can't pay their taxes, or unless they commit a crime. So. Getting a property up here, generally the people that come up to live here, rather than work up on the Sky Cities, are very rich. Um, Lucius, you wouldn't know, you would kind of have heard about this before, but they have, what they've started doing, and you probably you guys know that you'd probably know this, they've started building kind of, um, not slums, but like they've been building like cheap residents on the bottom. Of, of Gust Haven on the Sky Cities. Suspended so, from the... Suspended from the rocky island itself, and then they have to climb up ladders and things like that to get into the main street. But it's Ooh. mega cheap, because they're just building them and piling them up everywhere. Mainly halflings and humans from the lowlands live in there. I like that. Um, they're called the Chains. Wow. I don't know they exist. But that's not a Lucius thing. Right. But I think Nova probably... Nova, you probably would have read about it in like a newspaper or like a scholarly journal talking about the wonders of Sky City technology, the world of tomorrow. Slum. If they can't. <laughs> <laughs> City, whole buildings dangled through the air. Yeah, they'd be yeah. more like low income housing. Yeah. yeah. Like if they can't thing. pay, eject. <laughs> <laughs> just chip it off. Kind of like that. Yeah, kind just of. Like cut the cords. Yeah. yeah. Or you um, can just blow them up. Uh, so there you go. Wow. There's, 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 some, there's some law for you. Oh, um, too soon. <laughs> how do we kill Nova? I mean, it is a thing that Lucius thing. might have to make a decision on later is what to do with that land. Yeah. Because it is just valuable. a big old plot of land. Very valuable. Valuable though. Built bombs. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can just hail a Pegasi carriage. It will yeah, cost you 20 you gold. Put your hand up like this and then I'll do a, a light to make it more appealing. Okay. I think they like red. <laughs> And yeah, it, doesn't, it takes a few minutes, and then you see, kind of swooping through the, the sky, um, a very beautiful gilded carriage. On the bottom of it is a large sphere of metal that vibrates and hums, and you can see kind of like pulses of magic and force projecting from it. And then attached by elegant chains and reins are two pegasi. And then it just swoops down, hovers in place, 
and a, a, a young half-elf driver is like, Good evening, sir. Right? Yes, please. For five of us. Two, three. Well, six of you there, so any points down towards Smeek, who's like, <laughs> Child ticket? Sure. Never seen a child like that, that one. He's not diseased, is it? No, okay. absolutely not. He's had all his checks. Okay, all right. Very well, yeah, hop in. Where are you heading off to? Breeze, please. Oh, 20 gold then, sir, and then pff, and it just takes off. 20 gold? Uh, ah. Yes, and we'll pay. Yeah, it's, it's probably like a good sort of like 20 minute ride. Um, so plenty of enough time that if you want to just say, I catch Quill up on all the things. But if you want to roleplay it, you can roleplay it. Up to you. What do you want to do, Quill? I mean, everyone's already You're the birthday here. boy. Well, just birthday boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, rebirth. Birthday, rebirth. birthday rebirth. boy. Birthday. No, it's re it's Kim got it. Yeah. Um, we'll just, yeah, recap. We'll just yeah, yeah. recap them. So Ayla basically brings you up to speed on all the things that have happened. All the things. All the things that Piri knew. So Hadar, Midwife's Forge, um, Lucius. Also, Nova's conversation with Callus. Was that shared? Was yeah. that no, Nova shared everyone. it with everyone. Yeah. Um, okay. When we were waiting for centuries to wake up. Hey, what about spell? Can you tell me about spell? Space elf? You didn't tell anyone about that. No, no I think no, at I this point, that. I think Ayla Bell is like it's a distant memory or the as well. Hmm. Uh, Katie can't remember either. Or what, what she thought about. I wrote it down really shakily, and Mark needs to send me the notes. <laughs> or, or... You didn't write down spell? I did write it down, but it's really fuzzy. It's I remember like, it all. I was having a little freak out because I was literally like this <laughs> the whole time. I remember all of it. Okay. But I didn't write it down. Yeah, no, I was just trying to remember if you told anyone. You didn't write it down. I didn't tell anyone. Because it's not my thing to write down. But you write You write, you write everything. everything. Down. No, if it's you... not relevant to, like, if Nova hasn't experienced it, then okay. no. That's good. I, I like that. That's my preferred way of it's doing it. It's just Kim remembers yeah. what happened because Kim was like, fucking cool. <laughs> I don't anything yeah. down. Well, um, so yeah, so cool, you are caught up caught as up. best you That can. took longer than just catching me up in role play. Uh, <laughs> Lil. Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. I'm up the front. So yeah, there's the a seat up the front space. you can watch yeah. the, it's, These carriages are quite large. They're used to transporting large parties, it seems. Six is pretty filling it up to the brim. Uh, Smeek is just sat on the floor of the carriage in amongst, like, Aww. between your legs, like a little dog or something, or a child. And he's just kind of sat, like... Child. But he does not appear to like flying. Like, he's, like, got his claws dug into the floor and he's just looking around, Aww. unsure of what's really going on. So how is this flying? This the... Carriage attached to a Pegasus. Carriage, yeah. a Ethereum engine, which gives it basically lifts the carriage and makes it weightless, okay. and then the Pegasi pull it. Cool. Okay. Awesome. I think it's be in the same day. So no wheels. It's just like a, a a wheelless Cinderella carriage with a an engine on the bottom, like nice. a, like a little orb, like a hover ball. Cool. Yeah. And you are lifted through. I think like Sentry, there is a slight sort of like it's not used to having so much weight, so it's like <laughs> it's like holding onto the side. Like, <laughs> 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 Sparky. Yeah. So yeah, Lucius is not doing um, well. The thing is, I, I'll be saying it quietly. Yeah, Lucius, Lucius is, is up the front, up as front well. and yeah. I'll, I'm trying not to. He thinks that it might be a conspiracy and that they are still alive somewhere. Okay. And we're pretty sure that that's not the case, but he's quite convinced, so he's a bit... Is that why he doesn't look like he's slept in a few days? I don't think he has, but I think that he's... He's clinging on to a little bit of hope that I don't think it, it is there and you don't right now. That? I mean, everyone that we've spoken to so far pretty much seems like it's legit and they're gone. Okay. But it might be that we think that someone caused it, someone set, set it up. Um, but we, he seems to think they've gone into hiding. So Hesper gave me something that might help, but I'm not sure whether or not I should. Um, with this eye, I can look into things that were, things that are where I'm not, and things that could happen. Does that make sense? Nope. Right. I could, I could, I could ask a question and see the events. So you could ask what happened to Lucius's family and you would see that as long as I ask the very right one useful. as long as I ask the right question but what if I see what Lucius doesn't want me to see what if That's I see the thing. an accident? he's he's we don't know at this point what it is but Lucius has he still has some hope 
I think that it would be best for us to try and manage expectations, but also we, we still don't know ourselves. Okay, Nova, as this conversation is happening, and as you are flying over Gust Haven as a city... I'm sticking my head out the window like... Stick your head out the window. You feel the breeze, the wind rushing through your, your cloud-like bugs. hair. Just bugs. No bugs. Too high for bugs. Damn it. <laughs> uh, feeling like breathing in this incredibly ox, like rich ox, you know, oh no, sorry, thinned out oxygen. But, you know, for some reason here in, in Gust Haven, it doesn't seem to affect you. It feels like your lungs like it was you know, normal air. And then you feel not, you feel something from Tiangong. Not the presence of a shard. It's different to that. Mm. You feel the presence of another Eterna mm. somewhere below. Big wide, looks mm. like a trade district maybe. Um, several large buildings, but, and then it's gone. Like as the, the carriage is flying over, you just, mm. and you almost hear Tiangong's Multiple, it, when it speaks to you, it's almost like multiple different voices of different genders and ages kind of combined into one. Friend. And you hear this in your mind. Cool. Can I make a note of like where, just like where we were when I heard that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, like looking down, you can make a note, some sort of trade district. Like, or, or like place where, you know, you can see like rows of shops and things like that. Um, there's one, there's a couple of buildings in particular, two larger looking buildings. Um, uh, one, you make a perception check for me. Actually, see how much. Let's see how much information you get out of this. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, that's pretty good. So you see two, in particularly large buildings. Um, one has the symbol of Hesper, the book with the eye and then the wings, and appears to be a temple. But you can also see. It's multiple storied, almost like a library, but it has the the temple symbol on it. Okay, we're going here. The other building you see is a very large, rich looking store, like almost like a modern day department store, like multiple leveled, but you can see goods and workers inside. And there is a sign outside which calls, uh, that calls it um, the Aethagora. Okay. Aether, as in, you know, magical Aether, and then Gora, a Aethagora. Cool. And those are two buildings in particular that you just happen to note as you're flying over, but you can't tell if it's coming from a particular source. Ooh, Debenhams. Kind Debenhams of like in the fantasy sky. Debenhams, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fantasy John Lewis. Nice. <laughs> House of Fraser. House of, yeah, something. It would be House of Fraser if it was on Gust Haven, right? Yeah, probably. Or John Lewis. Yeah. yeah. Not a it's definitely a John Lewis. It's not a not. It's not, yeah. Let's get that in gold for not here. Yeah. Yeah. So you, that was a little something that you just pick up on. Um, Smeek ekes his way over to Sentry, seeing that you are also terrified of flying, and is now gripping onto your leg, Grip and me. looks up and is like, "I'm flying out there." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's making friends with everyone now and not just doing that to me, honestly. It's and then a common, a common interest, it would seem. <laughs> of being yeah. terrified of flying. Yeah. Um, and then poor Lucius, you are just at the front looking down the nights, the lights of Gusthaven arrayed below you. Multiple dozens, hundreds of lights, like little stars burning away. Mm -hmm. But in your mind, you can still just see that empty, burnt out husk that was the estate. Just kind of flashes in your mind. Sweet. Thanks for putting that thought in my head. Uh, <laughs> I'm also trying to push that aside and just focus on getting to Nanny. Getting to Nanny. That's the saving grace in all of this. Yeah. So it doesn't take long before you pull up in a district which is, and you give the driver the specific address. And what you find is you find yourself in a narrow street of four or five storied like spires. They look like almost like wizard towers, these kind of tall round spires with kind of your classic Disney Mickey Mouse kind of like rooftops, tiled blue roofs. But they all seem to have been converted because you can see lots of people that appear to be workers or farmers coming in and out of them. 
and there are windows, like, you can tell that there's floors because there's windows set into each of them. And looking around, you get the impression that they're like almost like little apartments or flats, and they're built into these rows and rows of all these different shaped and sized magical towers. Um, and there is a strong breeze that kind of blows through and all the pennants flicker and things like that. And looking down at the address, you find this one tower um, that appears to be the, the living address uh, for, uh, uh, do I have a full name here? I still panic when I hear breeze. <laughs> yeah. It's just a word. Just, it's, Not anymore. It sucks because that's what Nova, Nova's mum is called. So I'm oh. just like, <laughs> mom. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you find um, uh, the address. It's written on the address. No fear, Tramadel. Um, and then it gives an address. Blah blah blah. The breeze, flat floor. Was this the right place? Yes, I believe so. I, I've never been to her place before, but that's what the stave said. Totally said last week. <laughs> Shall we knock? Do you want to lead the way or yeah, one of us? Yes, I, I will. Otherwise it looks like there's yeah. strangers trespassing with a goblin. Yeah. I mean, you mm -hmm. enter the bottom of the tower and you can see that the bottom section is open. There is a metal series of metal lock boxes on like a lower ground floor with numbers one, two, three, four, um, with little letter boxes and they're like little metal they're little post boxes. And then there is a, a winding staircase that leads up, and there is a small balcony uh, for, with a door on each each floor. It looks like a nice establishment, right? It looks comfortable. It's not very rich. Um, this looks like. Something, yeah, like this is like a, a small, it's not run down. Nothing on Gustin even is really run down, except maybe the chains. It's just not as fancy um, as it could be. It's, this is not fancy. This this was probably once used, it was, you know that when the, the history of Gusthaven is that when the Sundering happened, they were suddenly lifted up into the air with few resources, no idea what was going on, and they lost a lot of people. Like, you know, with a sudden change in their situation, a lot of people died of starvation before they could get food grown and things like that. And so what they did is they ended up taking places like individuals, you know, wizard tower and basically being like, sorry, we need this to house people. They gutted it and then they built flats and things into Refurb. it. Refurb. They refurbed a lot of it. And this looks to be like a kind of stock built for the general populace. Like probably people like cleaners, cooks, artisans live here. So it's not okay. fancy, but it's not run down. Okay. Um, and flat floor is at the very top. Um, does anybody know how to fly? Because that's a lot of steps. Yep, nope, we go. I'm just going to start marching lift upstairs. one foot up and put it down and lift the other foot Ayla up. Ayla is already making down. her way upstairs. Smeek follows behind. Um, okay. Come on, Smeek does not seem bothered by the stairs. He's just like... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I'll, I'll start making my way up. Okay, so you all start making your way up. Um, Ayla, you get to the top of the stairs first and you see a very plain door, number four written on it. Um, just gonna wait. Okay. So you Chill. wait. Smeek waits. Like Smeek goes to move up to the door. Smeek. Ah. Yeah. Nope. Stands next to you, and then Lucius comes up behind Smeek. <clears throat> and I'll step forward and do a, a gentle knock. Okay. <laughs> it's open. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck. Hello. Is, is anybody home? Just, like there's nothing. Nanny? You can see a short highway. You can see like a short hallway. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go in. Uh, feel free sure? to follow me in. Wait, wait a minute. This doesn't seem. Would she normally just have the door open like that? Well, um, knowing her, it's Gust Haven. It's fine. Call out her name from here. Uh, Nanny? It's Lucius. No response. Would you like me to send Echo forward? Uh, yes, yes, if you could. Thank you, Sentry. Okay. So you wait, hold for a moment, and then from the chest, this bramble, this floating bramble with a great purple gem in its center, forms in the air, and then, 
and then yeah, it sends it forward. Do you want to look through Echo's eyes, or are you just saying to Echo go in and look around? Uh, I like to look through Echo's eyes. Okay, so you watch a Sentry's eyes like the purple light fades, and whoop, your vision becomes Echo's, and he begins making his way through, floating through the air. You see him float through a very kind of short hallway, a little house plant on a little kind of cabinet. Um, looks into a kitchen, sees a very bare, empty looking kitchen, a few pans, a few knives, maybe a loaf of bread on the side, um, a short, a small two person table with some candles unlit, looks around, doesn't see anything, floats out, goes into another room. Uh, this appears to be some sort of lounge. There's like a little table and chair, a bookcase, a little desk, and then there's another two doorways kind of leading off from that. Um, Make a perception check with Echo for me, please. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do I have Echo stats? In your creatures tab. Uh, might be in my folder. Let me see. I think we, yeah, we didn't put it over into the. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. That's all right. Uh, I think he's. I think I know that he has advantage, and I'm pretty sure he has like a plus three bonus. So I'm just going to roll for him now. Okay. I'll just get the folder anyway, just in case. So as he's looking around. Echoes glances around the room, and the two other doors are shut, so he can't get through them. Okay. He can't open doors, his little floating ball. But you do notice as he's looking around that on the little desk, there is several pieces of, like, they're opened letters, um, and a single crossbow bolt is kind of laying on the desk. Um, like it's been just placed on the desk or whatever. Um, Hmm. Can I cast, while this is happening, can mm -hmm. I start casting Detect Magic? Sure. I would like to do so you that. You do it as a ritual? Yeah. Yep. So I need 10 minutes. Takes, takes 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes is definitely more than enough. Echo, like, just floats back, having not seen anything. Just... Um, and while I say that, I'm just going to run in. Okay. So Lucius just runs in. Yep. Um, I'm going to follow him. Yeah. Yeah, you just burst in, you like looking down the hallway. Yeah, You've not been in this place before, you don't know anything, but you kind of start looking around. It's a bit more panicked this time. Do you, so you head down, so there's like a little short kind of like corridor with a little plant and then a little thing and then Going there's two doors. Going into the lounge. Okay, so, so you step into the lounge. Um, make a perception check for me. Yes. Lucius, be careful. We don't know what is in here. 18 plus three, 21. 21. So you burst in, you look around, um, you desperately glance around, and you see the desk with the papers and the crossbow bolt. You begin making your way over, and then that's when you just feel the point of something into your neck, um, something sharp and pointed, like it's being pointed. Ayla, you kind of burst in behind him, and you see, dressed in pretty common-looking clothes, um, you see a mess of kind of long brown hair and a ponytail, um, and a feminine hand holding a hand crossbow with it pointed at Lucius's neck. And you hear, Lucius, uh, a feminine voice that you recognize uh, that is basically just, I don't know who you are, but Lucius Elonasto died. So if this is some sort of trick to torment an old woman, you, you've made the wrong mistake here, my friend. Can I just come in and go, stop? It is Lucius. You look over and you now see a second hand is pointed at you with a second hand crossbow. <laughs> Jeez. Don't I'll put, move, wild I'll elf. put my hammer down and say, look, we're not here to play tricks. We're here to find out what has happened. I'd like to know why you're traveling around with some sort of shape change that looks like my deceased ward. I'll slowly turn my head to look at her. It's, it's Nanny No Fear, but she does not look how you remember her. She looks, she looks scary. Like her, her bangs are kind of over her face. She looks, she looks like she could shoot you in the face and you wouldn't even, wouldn't even blink. Um, you can see that she wears no makeup. She's got like loose kind of clothing, but you can see that things like her sleeves have been tied to her wrists so they don't flap around. Her trousers have been tied with, you know, ribbons or bands so that they kind of grip to her ankles so her boots they, they don't catch on anything um, and she's just basically looking at you and there is a moment where you see that sternness flicker 
and her hand twitch, almost like she's she's second guessing herself. I just realized I'm I'm rolling for flying Norette. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to change that. <laughs> Bring up old Lucius. The, uh, we did the D&D D &D Beyond D &D thing. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Wait, are you doing something? Or are you yeah, 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 yeah. Details from Lucius. <laughs> okay. Aquamamba. Aquamamba. <laughs> Please, Nanny, I, I need you right now. I know, you're some sort of trick. You're not him. You can't be. He died. Something from our past together. Only I could answer. She, like, you can see, like, she's desperately conflicted about something. Something in her is, is conflicting with the scenario. Hmm. And... Is this something we can share from our past together? I mean, you might be able to, you can say something. Like, she she just, she looks at you and she's like, please, I know that there are ways, there are magical ways to read a mind. There are magical ways to alter memories or something like that. If you really are him, then you'd know what to tell me. Lucius, your father's briefcase. Yes, I have my father's briefcase, but that is not, anyone could steal that. Uh, I lost something that you gave me when I was a young boy, you remember? The one thing that turned everything around for me and it allowed me to continue to pursue my sorcery. I took it on the airship with me when it crashed. It was a small, small toy. You see that the crossbow begins to dip. <laughs> no, no. It and then her hand goes to, to completely drop. Uh, and you can see that, yeah, the, both of the, the crossbows go away um, as she drops. And she's like, they told me you died. How is this possible? How? After everything that's happened, I thought I'd lost everything. And then she just grabs you. I'll embrace with a slight bit of worry that I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she drops the hand crossbows. And you see, none of you, well, Quill probably would have seen uh, creeping, kind of everyone distracted by the scene. Smeek had crept his way along and was bringing up a club. No. <laughs> like, like he was ready to attack this woman. God's and then he sees the crossbows and grabs them and like literally holds them. Holy shit. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Smeek. He brings them to Ayla. Thank yeah. you. But Dear he, God, probably, nobody give this thing a crossbow. He's, he's holding one of the hand crossbows like, this is mine now. Smeek, drop it. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, she just like pulls you in tight and you can see kind of very, you hear very gentle sobs. Um, and then she, you do probably feel like, like, on her, like on her belt, a very sharp knife that she kind of adjusts and moves like a kitchen knife or something like that that she'd grabbed. Um, so much has happened in such little time and... You, you have no idea. You look different, Nanny. Of course. I thought that, well, after what happened with your father and the family, what happened with you, I thought that... I thought that I'd been lucky to escape. I thought that they might come after me next. I've been waiting for them. Who is they? Who are you? Hi, Forgive I'm Ayla. I know that you may... This may very well be my... My boy, but I don't know who you are. Let me introduce mm. on their behalf. They so give me back my crossbows. Takes them, puts them in like a sash around. Might want to keep an eye out because this goblin really wants them. He's fine. He's harmless. Promise. You should be careful with those creatures. I've seen them kill a lot of people down in the lowlands before. They might act innocent, but they're killers. You should be careful. They're not pets. She turns back to Lucia. This is how I turned out. Just so well-rounded. <laughs> anyway, Ayla, you've already met, and Smeek. Uh, this is Quill, who recently returned to us. Mm. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, 
A lot has happened. She doesn't seem to, she doesn't pick up on that you mean returned from the dead. She thinks that you meant like, she means that he's gone from the dead. It just doesn't doesn't occur to her. He means like, oh, he's come back from the dead. Uh, But yeah, she just kind of like nods. He's got something special about him that when we know we're in a secure place, maybe we can reveal more if it's useful. Right, Quill? Yes, yes, well, possibly. It might work. All right. You can trust Nanny with your life. Um, I don't probably know more that. so than me. I don't know about that, but you can certainly trust me. We were all passengers on the Sparrow Blade with Lucius when it crashed. We've been through a lot together. It's oh. been a real ride We've... for the past month. And I owe you a lot. It's funny that everyone thinks that Lucius is dead, whereas these two have been dead, really. No point at Sentry and Quill. This is Nova. Hi, my name's Nova. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. You are very energetic, young one. And she kind of offers a hand. And you can see that this woman's probably in her like 40s, 50s, like in her late 40s, early 50s. Um, because she's a half elf, again, it doesn't show as much as other races, like with a human. She probably would look like a kind of human woman in her like late 30s. But there's just a couple of like, like signs that she's a bit older than maybe she appears, like graying hair, like more wrinkles than you'd maybe expect and stuff. Um, She's uh, certainly broadened my horizons in terms of knowledge and uh, and wisdom. Oh, I see. You mean it's in... And fire bears. <gasps> fire bears! All right. And, and this is Sentry, a guardian. Yeah, she, at this, like, N- Nanny No Fear actually bows her head and is like, I am very grateful to the Star Mother that you, that you had a guardian with you. Uh, ancient one. And she kind of just nods her head. Well, thank you. It's lovely to meet you. Indeed. You as well. Thank you all. Um, thank you all for making sure Lucius is safe. I can't imagine it has been easy traveling across the lowlands. I lived there for some time, so I know how dangerous they can be. Lucius has learned a lot about lowland life. I imagine so. It's, Not... a, it's a lot like you mentioned, Nanny, and a lot like... I've experienced a lot. It's been a lot. Yes. A lot. Yep. I, hope, I hope that it's prepared you for what's happened here. I, I need you to tell me the truth, if you have it. The truth? I have information, but I don't know about the truth. Even I still can't see the full picture yet. But... So you think there's something fishy about it all, like oh, I do? Lucius, there's no doubt. This is a, this is a ploy. Your so they father... Could be, they could be somewhere else. She just looks up. No, oh, my boy, no. No, they, they were there. They, I saw that explosion. They were inside. There's some, you might have seen it wrong. It, it could be something yeah, else. Lucius, I promise you. The ex- I watched the house explode. I'd gone out, I was meeting a friend of mine. We had dinner. I was coming back late, later than I expected to. I was walking down the, the avenue on the plaza and I just watched it go. I ran in to the fires desperately trying to see if anybody was still alive and there was nothing. There was, there was no way they could have survived. They and might not have been there. They were there when I left, Lucius. That your father they, said he had work in the workshop. There's every chance that he could have left, you know? We've got to have some, some hope, right? No one knows for sure. I cannot argue that there is not a chance he left, but you do yourself no favors by believing in such false hopes. There is a chance, but you should not pin your heart on it, my boy. This, this was a plan to kill your father, and of that I know. Your father never told me, but I overheard conversations between him and, and Adea. This was the Wind Barons, without a doubt. The Wind Barons? Wind Barons. They were once a petty band of sky pirates, but in the last few years, they have grown extremely powerful. They have agents in many of the Sky Cities now. Why would they, why would they do that? Why would they...? I don't know. I, your father was working on something. A new process for... Oh, I never understood your father and your sister's technical babble, but something to do with refining Ethereum. A, a new way to do it. And I know that they've got their fingers into the Ethereum industry here. But I never, I never knew more than that. I was more of a bodyguard than a spy. Um, it's really obvious to the nanny that while you're while you're talking that Lucius is glazing over and he looks like he's about to pass out. Yeah, she's like, "Hey!" and she like slaps you like, "You need to be strong now, all right? 
I don't. I, you I, have to. You have to listen, Lucius. This is. I know this isn't easy, but my you're the is. only one that's left. You don't understand what danger this puts you in. I, what does it matter? If it does matter. You're still here. That's what matters. Your family line still exists because of you. You're still here. They thought that you were dead. They told everyone you were dead. But me of all. What do you my mean? My sister had so much potential. My, my father had great things planned and... Your father loved you and you, he knew how much potential was in you as well. Not in business. He didn't care about that. He wanted you to do what you wanted to do. Art, exploration, jousting, whatever it was you wanted. I know he was, he was never kind in a traditional sense, but that's because he didn't understand you. He didn't know how to connect with you. <sighs> Why do you think he asked me to look after you? It wasn't because he, he was worried. He wanted you to, to do things with your life. I thought it's because he didn't have time. He didn't. It's easier to pay someone else. He didn't have much time, but he wanted to provide a good life for you and Adair and your mother. Well, he knew that he couldn't trust the future of Ethereum and Gusthaven to the likes of the Magronas or Etheron. They're just in it for the money. He wanted, he actually cared about this city. And now that falls to you. I'm not ready. Nobody ever is. I think I was ready to do the things that I've done in my life, to kill people, to survive. Of course not. Not to mention, this all seems so inconsequential. In comparison to what? In comparison to the world at large. I've seen things. We've all seen things. It's easy to, it's easy to overlook a few small problems in the grand scheme of everything on Erois, but that doesn't change that these things still matter. They always matter. Even in war, there are still people that need to paint or sing, or there are people that still need to make sure that trade happens. We can't all be great heroes or gods. Some people just need to do what they're meant to do. Some people just need to be a bodyguard for a young man. Or some people just get swept up and caught amongst other gods. Very much so. But that is, that's, that is the nature of life. But you are not safe here. None of you are if you're traveling with Lucius. If they learn that you're still alive, you, you pose a risk to what they've done. You might uncover things. It's not the first time we've been attacked. It won't be the last. We've been embroiled in a lot of different problems and seem to have stumbled into one problem after the next. I'm afraid that there will only be more problems here. Just no fear, please. Okay, he calls you nanny all the time. Yes, that's because I raised him as a nanny. Yeah, yeah it is. It feels. Um, did you just say that you've killed people? Uh, yes. Yes, I did, yes. Recently? I mean, not for many years, no. Oh, okay. Not for a long time, a few decades, perhaps. When no, I, I just When I was younger. thought with this get up. Oh, I mean, I, I know how to break into someone's house and kill them in their sleep, if you're asking. I know how to... Oh. Cool. I know how to shoot someone through the heart from a thousand feet. You didn't tell me this. Of Valuable skills. I didn't skills. tell you this. Why do you think your father hired me in the first place? You said you were an adventurer, but I didn't know you. No, I was an assassin, Lucius. Cool. I was an assassin. <laughs> that's so cool. Um, the Dwarven cool. Lords of Gold Throne and the people in the various kingdoms of the Lowlands. Yes, all the stories. Yes, there are. Those, many of those stories are true, but they had normally a more bloodthirsty ending. Oh. <laughs> why? There's no point hiding from it from you now. Why are you? Why are you on alert now? Because the whoever whoever killed Virian and the others, they they blew up the estate, thinking that everyone connected to the family would be there. They didn't know that I'd be leaving that night. And whoever it is has also somehow managed to get the message out that Lucius died and pretended to scry on him to confirm it, which is obviously not true because we've been with Lucius the whole time and he didn't die. Well, you almost, almost died, died. Wait. quite a few times. The airship, when we first met, were the Revenant there connected 
to my assassination attempt. The wind barons. Uh, I thought they were. Did going we after fall out of the sky because someone was trying to kill you? I thought they were going after Sentry. From what? No, okay. they were going after Valor. Valor. I yes. don't know who this Valor is, but from the sounds of things, when the news first arrived of the crash, it was a surprise. Nobody seemed to be. You know, I have a few eyes and ears to the ground, and I got the impression that it was something of a shock to many. The Sparrow Blade might have just kick-started a few series yeah. of events. Yeah. True. Um, anyway, we're going to take a break. Yeah. Because it's time for a break. Ooh. Yeah. We're going to take that now. And then we'll be back. Do it. We're going to be back in five. Shit. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. We'll see five. you in a bit. See Wait. you in five. Bye. 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 Bye.
Hello, welcome back. Uh, Kim is just sorting out some house stuff, so yep. she'll be back as soon as she gets that sorted. Uh, we're gonna crack on. Crack on. With the robots. There's a kraken. No. Oh. Uh, sky sky kraken. Are there sky kraken? Oh. There are now. Thanks, Tom. Oh. oh. There are now. Oh, good. <laughs> we oh, left like that. <laughs> as the party have entered the home of Nanny. No fear. No fear, Tramadel. Uh, Lucius is uh, once caretaker or guardian. Um, nanny. Who helped Nanny, uh, who helped look after him. Full blown Mary Poppins. With well, Assassin Mary Poppins. Yeah. Assassin Mary Poppins. Yeah, definitely. Assassin Mary Poppins. Um, to me, it was Mary. To the understand, to the revelation of uh, various plots afoot. I believe that's where we left off. Um, yeah. Okay. Nanny. Sorry. Just call cool, please. Call me No Fear. No Fear. I'm having a real d no fear, Nanny. Both begin with N. I just uh, there's it's a lot. It's anyway. just weird if you also call me Nanny. Yeah, it's it is. I kind agree. Kind of weird that Lucius still does, but that's fine. I mean, oh. it's Lucius. It's just I'm not that old. It's it's always been a bit strange, but that's fine. No fear. No fear. Hmm. Do you think that um, I forget names? The Anastasia. The yes. do you think that McGron that the that McGronas. She we met the 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 kid, Berlinor. That one. Mm. Met him. Mm. Seemed like a bit of a douche face. I've put a lot of thought into how I could eliminate Berlinor. Jesus. Eliminate? You want to kill? You him? want to kill him? No, I said that I thought about how I would do it. Interesting. Right. I saw I the way that, that he tormented Lucius. Did you right. make a lot of uh, plans to kill plans? people? Well, my dear Birdman. Think of it this way. If a carpenter spends most of the years making things, uh -huh. when they see a chair that's poorly made or they enter a new home, you can't help but appreciate the craftsmanship or how something was done. There are times in Gusthaven where I think about how I would go about solving problems. Okay. But that's not what I was employed to do anymore. I was employed as a bodyguard and I was very happy with that career. You were you looked at Berenor and thought of how to improve his body. How to improve his demeanour, shall we say. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Just With like me. Violence, right? Well, crossbow bolt through the heart Excellent. generally does that to people. Top notch, I support that. He seemed like a douche. Anyway, he didn't seem to think that anything was afoot, but his, uh, his mother might still be involved. Berenor is... Berenor is... He is... He's not the smartest of the bunch. He is strong, he's athletic, he's very driven, ambitious. I believe that there are reasons that he picked on Lucius. But his intellect is not lacking, but he does not, he is not the conniving type. If there is a problem, Belenor faces it in the sky jousting ring. He hits it with a fist, an armored fist. His mother, Anastasia, and his brother, Democles, are more of the conniving coming type. Democles, the name alone annoys me, mm. somehow. Do you think they had any hand in plots in that case? It was her there squire is... who reported Lucius dead. Yes. But I can't say. It's possible. The, pol the, the noble houses of Gusthaven have worked together for a long time, but there have always been disagreements. But Virian and Anastasia did work together. They provided two sides of a coin. 
she is very knowledgeable in manufacturing. Um, they produced a lot of components, more complicated components for Ethereum refining. But nobody could make the materials that Virion did. He was very good at his business. They produced, they produced the highest quality components that you need for Ethereum refining. Uh, the central Ethereum core, the, the platinum core. It's something which, if it's off by even a slight amount, it's inefficient. Virion had it perfected. He knew exactly the right ratios, how to make it. It was very boring work, but it was necessary. So they needed each other? In a sense, yes. Could she have gained that knowledge and Possibly. wanted to take the other half of the coin? That's beyond me, unfortunately. And the only other person who I knew who had much head for the business side of things was Lucius's sister, Adea. But sadly, she's gone as well. Well, I might be able to help clear up at least a few questions. Anything you can clear up would be very useful. I, like I said, I, whilst I'm very good at sneaking about and keeping a watch on things, I'm not an investigator as such. My plan, I was planning to leave Gusthaven when I heard about what had happened to you. And then what happened with the family, well, I've been securing a few supplies making preparations to leave Gusthaven. You're lucky you caught me. I wasn't going to linger around for more than a few days. I don't know how I would have coped had you had left. You would have been fine. You seem to have picked up some very good allies. That is true, yes. Yes, I have. We're great. She's They're great. Delight. I'm a delight. They're a delight. Clearly. A little delight. Yeah. yeah. To have you too, Lucius. One are over. Thank you. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Well, if there's anyone in Gusthaven that can get to the bottom of this without any sort of association with the houses, it's this group, so. No, but we need, just, we need to prioritize things though. And also be aware, this is not, the Wind Barons aren't just some group of thugs who have done this. They're a big organization. They've been causing your, they've been causing your father problems for weeks before you even left Gusthaven. I overheard him and Adair speaking. They've been trying to pressure him into joining them for a long time. He was refusing. Do right. you think that this moon star that we keep hearing about has anything to do with the Wind Barons? Maybe. I'm she... trying to pinpoint if there could be a leader here. There's an odd one. She seems to have struck at random. She's, she's trained in a few things. But she's also sloppy. Which makes me think she's somewhat inexperienced in some ways. She's targeted various businesses, Ethereum refineries. She seems almost more to have a problem with the palace than with the noble families. Hmm. Wow. Look, this is all my problem. If we have greater goals, we need to consider those because other things are at stake. I understand if we have to put, put those first, the, the God of Hesper is quite important, right? But you're also important. Yes, uh, he, thank you, but... He put bringing the party back together as the highest priority, first with Sentry, then, I imagine, with me. And nah. we are together now. And now we are together. Yes, we, we've achieved that. But so. we're not complete, Lucius, if your mind is constantly dragging yourself back to your family and Gusthaven, then that's something we need to prioritise. Also, who knows who the Wind Barons answer to if they answer to something bigger as well. It could all be connected. If who knows? If they're tied to the Court of Shadows, and if maybe they had some hand in the Skyship, maybe, then that's something worth investigating too. We could head to the Sky Prince, I think you've spoken to him already. Yep. But apparently he knows about, um, he knows about Callie's Rest. If you think it's important to our, to your goal, then we'll, we'll pursue it. But I don't want to get in the way. Well, you're not really gonna be safe until we figure it out, so. I've got and to. I'm going to be honest, I don't want to carry another body for a little bit. Like, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I, so, uh, we're going to fix it. 
Take that as a compliment. So that we don't, yeah, it is, but you know, it's me, so. Lucius, I can't stay with you. I can't stay here. I lost your father, I've lost the rest of your family, and you're with good people, people that will look after you. But there's a reckoning that needs to happen here. I need to, also adverse, eh? I need to find <clears throat> out who did this, and I need to make them pay. We have dragged you across most of Arois at this point. We're not just going to leave. Teamwork. Always this is really weird for me. <laughs> I appreciate Am I doing okay? You're doing fine. You're doing Yay! Well. The Nailed effort it. is what counts, absolutely. And yes, if that's what you all want, then I would be more than happy to accept your help. If you're ready to hear the answers, I could, we could go to the estate and figure out at least whether or not it's true. One thing. How? Lucius probably shouldn't be seen. No. I know we've been trying, we've Lucius. kind of been walking about a bit and people might already know, but at the same time, if we can conceal you a little bit, because you know you're quite distinctive and covered in gems and people know you and stuff, yeah. I don't have any magic to change my appearance, but maybe I can just change my attire and my, my features somehow. The old fashioned way. The old fashioned way would work. Change of clothes, haircut, dye. All of those things would, you stand out as you are and people won't expect you to make such drastic changes. Nanny, it sounds like you have access to all these things. Yes, I can. That's the one last, I can do that before I leave. You're so naughty. Well, yes. You've done so many naughty things and I didn't even know. <laughs> Lucius, you've killed a fair few people, my day. And a cow. Oh, um, you killed a cow, real good. You killed a cow. You didn't know what it was. We were attacked. I suppose I yes, that's true. I never told I never it thought was quite embarrassing I didn't for think everyone. To bother telling him about cows. It was embarrassing for stories everyone. and things, wouldn't you, but Apparently not. No, he was yeah, horrified. Tend to be more about the night. knights and He called heroes. it a zombie. Clad in chains. Not carried it had a, chains. Chains. It had a bell around yeah. its neck. Yeah. He was quite frightened. <laughs> I was on edge. That's fine. I'm glad that you have at least learnt to defend yourself, because you will need it. I will help you disguise yourself, and then I need to leave. I've booked passage on a ship down to the lowlands. My goal was to begin investigating some contacts of mine down in, well, a few places. A few places where no fin Nightshade is still remembered. Nightshade? Yes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Love it. Every, every good killer has a good legend. But there's a few places where that name might still be recognised and still respected, and they might be able to provide me information about the Wind Barons. If I can get information from them, I can perhaps start tracking down their leadership, find out who runs them. If you gain any new information, can you get it to us discreetly? Yes. Yes. You'll hear from Nightshade. Will be. Badass. As far as I'm can, as far as I'm aware, only the underhand elements of the Lowlands and now yourselves know that name, so you'll know it's from me. And this place here, are you selling it? Are you removing it? Well, it's not mine. It belongs to the city. I was just renting it. Um, you didn't break in, did you? No, no. It's just a, some old habits die hard. I always kept this place with the money that your father paid me. This was sort of a safe house, one that I always kept around. When I didn't want to stay at the estate. I had people I wanted to meet. Can we use this as a safe house? Yes, you should be able to. It's paid up until the end of the month. Thank you very much. It's all right. It's basic, but it will do. It's more than adequate compared to some of the sleeping situations we've been in. Yes. I will need one of you to go out and buy Lucia some new clothes. I've only got my own here, I'm afraid. Um, something discreet. Keep something still fitting his station. If you're going to places like the Noble District or the Palace, he still needs to be well-dressed, but he needs something that isn't as identifiable as what he wears now. You'll need to keep your spell focus, keep that on you, but the rest will probably need to change. Uh, I've got some dye, I can darken your hair, cut it, and perhaps something like a pair of spectacles, but with just plain glass. 
I don't know what well-dressed people do, so I'm out. I'm sorry. I mean, this is more mm -hmm. Lucius's um, area than anyone else's. I feel like you'll still want to be fashionable <laughs> regardless of the disguise. Let me just say, I admire you all, but if you disrespect my fashion sense, I will kill you all. <laughs> That's yeah, that's definitely don't send me you. because I will 100% try my best to make it look ridiculous. Okay. Something, something modest, but a sense of regality to it. But muted, but elegant, mm. comfortable, yet inviting. Mm. Blues are quite common amongst the nobility of Gusthaven, mm. helping blend in. Is Nova best to do this job? Nova would probably be knowledgeable about it. I think she's already looking at books. <laughs> she does appear to have her nose stuck in one as, as we speak. I <laughs> um, know she had that fashion sense of Gus Haven book. Amazing. <laughs> now, look at my book. <laughs> Do you have a favourite store in Gus Haven? Oh, what was that place that um, Daddy always used to send you to? What a pass yeah. off. Flick through notes. <laughs> what a pass off. I mean... <laughs> Your father always, well, he was cautious Switch with his money, job. but... I'm changing my identity. Oh! He's going to dye his hair and so get new clothes. Go to a well, it's not like a, yeah, it's just like a... A, a, a visual. A, a physical disguise to help him. A real attention. <laughs> Less that, more just like changing his hair, new clothes. Just cut it off. Yeah, we're going to cut it. What about my eyes? They're quite distinct. Glasses. Mm. That cover. There are, uh, there is a somewhat of a fashion, there are uh, dark glass uh, spectacles. Um, Got a spare eye patch there. Ah, eye patch! Two eye patches? You have my eye patch? You only need one. Just Quite to make sweaty. a point, an eye patch, lots of people make this as a common mistake for disguises. An eye patch is very distinctive. People will remember a mm. one-eyed elf noble. A lot of people did look at me when I had the eye patch. Um, and the one wing. It's not in right now. Um, no, you're right. Before we change your appearance, can I just take a scan of you first? A scan? Well, remember the glamour disc we found? I've got an image of Ada in it, and I'll just like... Mm -hmm. Big old Ada in my head. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it's, well, yeah, it's like a it's full me. blown... Yeah. Yay! Go I just me. wonder if perhaps, you know... It oh, just... you can use this for measurements. Well, yes, but also it might come in useful later, like if we need a distraction or something. Right. Because I can make it to look like you. Okay. Like, you know, you're standing in a corner or something. That makes sense. Yes, do a scan. Okay. Uh, that's incredibly, that's a very good idea, Eganassi. See, oh. she's, she's very knowledgeable. Mm. Thank you. That's very good. Mm. Oh, it just takes you a few moments to, just to run it up and down. Yep. So the glamour disc now has an image of Lucius rather than Ayla in it. Yeet. I don't know why we made it me. Shape or anything? Or does it oh, pose? It? No, it, it kind Static. of holds like a very kind of like. Almost like an idle animation, like you're just kind of like <laughs> looking around. It looks like a per so it, it wouldn't just be like you stood in like T pose, like. <laughs> it's a casual, yeah. Whatever I was scanned. Yeah. Basically, it's like you kind of like, oh, like looking a bit surprised, like when Nova was scanning you. Okay, cool. <clears throat> nice. So mine was probably just me glaring. I can, I can write down the name of a tailor, but it's something of a family tailor. Um, you mm -hmm. might be better off just buying something a bit more. Off the rail, just something. If you go decent. to some sort of trading district, you might be able to find <laughs> clothiers or tailors there. Speaking of trading districts, um, there was a place we passed earlier. It, it, I think it had a temple of Hesper and some kind of library. <laughs> um, um, there was also some kind of multi-story shop or something. Oh yes, yes, you'll find some there. Something wonderful there, I'm sure. Uh, Tiangong seems to think there might be another Eterna there. Ooh. Right. I know the staff are good, but I didn't realise they were that good. Yeah. Or maybe... I don't want to say anything, because, you know, there's so much going on right now. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, we're here, and we're looking for a shop, and also there might be an Eterna there. And also, the Temple of Hesper. Don't meet the Eterna without me. And a library. And a library. a library. Well, why don't we go and get Lucius a change of clothes and then we can go back there and find the... Yes. I would make that the priority so that Lucius can move around with you. For now, you'll be safe-ish here. Um, there's also the fact that I know that your father left you some money in a will. 
yes. and the company assets were all sold off. You, you need to make some sort of effort to reclaim those, you know, get some money back if you can. If nothing else, I don't want, I don't want your father's hard work in the hands of the Magronas and the Atherons. I'll do my best, but if I'm going incognito, they may not. <laughs> well, the staves you can trust, I think. The staves I can trust. Maybe I can put them to the task. Mm. Yes. I believe your father was speaking to um, Elois about some of the troubles, so he seems to be a good fellow to turn to. We'll go back to him. Very good. They'll understand that you shouldn't really be seen just now. They, they did give me that advice too, yes. Well, I'll start working on Lucius's hair. You go get him some clothes. Okay. You're going to look weird with dark hair. Dark, short hair. It won't be permanent. It normally washes out. It, it will It'll fade. The hair will grow back, but the, the dye will fade over about a month or so. It's the badass emo month. <coughs> yes. It's not going to be that dark. It's going to be jet black. Okay. Um, yeah. So with that, yeah, no, no fear will take you into a bathroom where she goes and fetches uh, what appears to be sort of like a, almost like a, a kind of emergency healer's kit. There's like bandages and scissors and things in there, but then she pulls out another smaller kit, which has various bottles of like colored liquids, um, wax, like molds for like crane mm. disguises and things cool. like that. Um, and she sets to work. Uh, I mean, how short? This is this is down to you now because you can tell No Fear. Like, how short do you want Have the you hair? Seen Mulan. I mean, <laughs> get down. To so just like she literally just grabs it and then so it takes it to what, like just below the A ears kind of it. thing. Yeah, and then style it out, right? And then yeah, she'll style it out. Like No Fear's cut hair, your hair for years. She knows how to cut hair. So yeah, she can style it so it looks natural and nice, but it's going to be a lot the length of... is considerably shorter. If I'm not going to roleplay this, it's no. going to be a lot of, do it, do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Please, sir, that. don't cut my hair. Yeah. And then just, she, she's kind I think No Fear at this point, she does not act like a nanny. She she's is like, kind put your head down, and then like, wait. no, and she doesn't, she doesn't wait. She's like already doing it. Uh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> and then she starts, you know, like, whack, like uh, <coughs> lathering in this dye into the hair and pushing it, you know, through it. And you, it does darken, like magically you see the hair follicles begin to change and, and darken to a very dark brown. Oh. Um, yeah, like a dark brown, shorter cut, um, eyebrows dyed as well. Because you have blonde eyebrows, I believe. I did. I um, did. So nice. complete change. The rest of you, I'm assuming, go out shopping. Uh, yeah, so you can head down to the, the trade district. Another, You will need to hire another sky carriage unless you want to walk. It's only 10 gold to go to the trade district from here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The trade district of Gusthaven is a place called Farron's Fortune. Okay. Um, and like the rest of the city, despite this now being late into the hours, probably like 10 o'clock, is still bustling. The shops are all still open. There are restaurants. Yeah. Am I going with them? No. Well, I'm staying here. Yeah. You're staying here while okay. Fit cut your hair and stuff. In the montage. Yeah, a bit of a sort of like out doing it's it. It's me well. sobbing now. Yeah. <laughs> with holding my hair in my hands. Yeah, just like looking at it. It's all fucking come together now. Yeah. Um, uh, and the rest of you go down there and, and very much like everything's open. There are restaurants, there are families like still having dinner, people, tourists. You see people from the lowlands just, you know, checking it out, being amazed. You see little opera houses, little theatres. Um, there's all sorts going on down in this whole district. And it's a big open circular plaza with a large elven statue in the middle and then streets kind of spiraling out from it. They're at the two ends of the plaza. There are two big buildings in particular. The Aethagora, which is a very large store that seems to sell everything, but it has a big focus on enchanted, ethereally enchanted goods. So it sells, it has a, a produce department, but the produce is thick and juicy and, and larger than it naturally would be. Uh, <laughs> there are metals, you know, armors and weapons being sold that have no sign of dulled, being dulled or, you know, anything like that. Um, and you can see that it's, it is packed. Everybody is going to this big store. There are smaller stores on the side streets 
but this is just this big particular multi-storied building that you see. Uh, the other building is uh, the one with the symbol of Hesper. It appears to be a large library or temple. Um, and if asked, it is called the Empyrean Archive the Empyrean Archives. Oh, I wrote Imperial last time. Uh, Empyrean. Imperian. Yeah. Imperian. It's a very Final Fantasy word, Imperian. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's called the Empyrean Archives. Then, as I said, there are multiple little shops. Again, if you have something in particular you want, you can always go to those, and I can tell you the names, but you won't know until you go looking, basically. Um, you know what you need? Pointing at Quill. Mm -hmm. Armour. Um, yes, almost definitely. Well, I've got this ring. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, Lucius has it, sorry. Lucius has my ring? Well, you weren't using it for a while. True, true. True, I wasn't, but... Do you still have that instrument? Uh, it's not in your inventory, because I don't know who wrote it down. Um, I mean, was the one who took it. I no, wait. died, so I think Nova picked it up. I tried to, because Someone I tried to play it and gave myself it. some damage. Yeah, you did. So you have it, but you don't, you haven't not tuned to it, so you have it. Right, I mean... I definitely have it. It's how not am I in my inventory, it? but... <laughs> How do I play this? Use your beak. <laughs> like try and pluck it a couple of times? Like what is it? Did you say it was a bandolor? You're not attuned to it, are you? No. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Just never learn, do you? Crap, I'm dead already. 16 plus wisdom. Uh, 20. 20, half of 11, five points of psychic damage. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> wow. Well. Oh, five, so like, boom, you kind of pluck it and ah, like some sort of pain in your head. That's what happened to me. Really? It's a bullshit thing. No, this okay. is a bullshit no, I think instrument. I need to attune to it. I mean... Mm. It happens with most magical items. Sure, I can try, I can try. Maybe, but... Mm. I'm assuming you're having this conversation out in this big open shopping plaza, basically. Yeah. All they, everyone else walking by, all they heard was... Bong, bong, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I attuned to my thing that I got from that dungeon, and I take out my little pipe. Poof, and what out does your little pipe do? A, out comes a smoky flump. It makes the, it makes little, like a, a flump made of smoke. A little smoky flump. Uh, as you do that, <laughs> uh, a couple of a couple of halfling flump. children uh, and their and their a halfling family is like ooh, and they kind of clap and they look and they throw a silver piece on the floor for you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> a copper piece. I'll, I'll do a few more, like animals. Yeah, you start like blowing oh, cool. things and like you, a little crowd kind of gathers around and they're like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, we love sticking out in a crowd. Yep, this, this is, is exactly what we want. The opposite of what we were looking for. I'm going to walk away. Smeek tries start. to attack the smoke flock. Smeek! No, no, wow! And it just disappears. Uh, the crowds are like, <gasps> and then they begin running off. Why is, Aww. why, why, why is Smeek with us again? Good question. Does he understand me? Nobody knows. Honestly. I could, but I need 10 minutes and for him to sit still. That's not going to happen. But also, he will not leave me alone. Sure. And now you've got a stormy eye thing going on. It's because That's he... like double whammy. Smeek's involved. He thinks Ayla's a god. Which is hilarious. Great. 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 He Great. really freaking likes lightning. Great. He's so you know when I get angry at he's him, just dancing now. it I'll just get it just more, it makes more smoke yeah. monsters while he's dancing. He, he chases after them, thinking they're real. Yeah, okay. He's like, ah, 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 and he like gets his little stone knife or whatever his little hatchet. And he's like, ah, ah, ah. let's Adorbs. stick. He like to... r runs up to Sentry and like tugs on your arm and points at them and like points at your axe. It's okay. It's no, no, like no problem. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't Fuck worry. Your neck. <laughs> Look, I wave rude. and it like dissipates something. Very rude. Very yeah. rude. Like nods. Like he seems pleased that you've done that. You've defeated the monster. Thumbs up. Let's stick to the. You watch as like there are guards watching Smeek. Like mm. Smeek, you have to stay very quiet. Mm -hmm. Very, very well behaved. He's looking at you. Whether he's understood you, you don't know. He looks at your finger. Stay. He sits. Oh, Christ. 
I just pick him up by the scruff of the neck and stand him up again. <laughs> yeah, he just follows. Well, if we just so, go, it's fine. Tom is the best reaction. I, guess it, like, I love it. I love it so much. Every <laughs> 20 minutes, so we spend five minutes yeah, with Smeek. It's, 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 it's almost like he's really irritated because he doesn't understand anything. And like oh. nobody tells him what to do. You just go places and he just follows you. Oh, I can't let my, my Tom's hatred for Smeek blend into Quill because he's got a Thunderstone pistol. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I forgot about Smeek looks at it, he likes it. Does he? <laughs> he fucking loves, he's looking at it like, what's that? Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Let's you're just buy in the what plaza. we need to buy and get back and carry on with what we need to carry on with. Please! Okay, where do you want to go to see stuff? <laughs> that was Tom, not Quill. Department store. You want to go to, so you begin making your way up. Oh Let's buy some stuff for Lucius. There's Annoying a, Tom is my favorite thing to do, so now I'm always going to ask what Sneak's doing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, that's the other thing is nobody asked what Sneak like. Nobody looked like, like is like, oh, what's Sneak doing? Like when you go in a new place, so I'm like, Sneak's going to cause trouble, like because that's what he would do. Because uh, y'all need to look after him a bit more. Exactly. Control your child. Ayla doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. She Ayla doesn't care enough to, to be paying attention to him. Get like a little baby holder for him. Yeah, she only occasionally harness? remembers a, that he a exists. Papoose. Can we get can a we harness? You know, can we? You can have one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you can have one that we're having right now. It's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> Just started again. Let's go buy some clothes, clothes for Lucius. Okay. Yeah. You People make your way like over to... Aethagora, this large... Oh my and it's, god, that was actual fury in his eyes! It just has the name in a kind of illusion, illusory sign I'm above sorry. the store uh, called Aethagora. <laughs> you step inside and you can see there are crowds everywhere. And it seems that the floors are built around different themes. So you have themes for like um, airship crews, you have things for like, you know, traders and workers, agriculture. Um, mm -hmm. The ground floor seems to be more mundane things like clothes and things like that. But as you go in, a very well-dressed uh, human man uh, just comes up to you and he's like, hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Aethagora. Are you looking for something in particular today? Uh, yes. You all seem to be travelers from somewhere else, yes? Uh, we're looking for um, noble, uh, but blue, but mild, but also... Nice clothes. Nice clothes. We have a wide range of clothing here, I can take you there. But forgive me, uh, this is perhaps is a little assumption of myself, you appear to be travelers from the Lowlands, yes? Yes. Uh, yes. Well, just so you know that we do have a very fine range of enchanted items, uh, useful tools for people who are involved in mercenary work or, or traveling uh, dangers and that sort of thing. Um, we have a wide range of those. Obviously, we are more than willing to work uh, with individuals such as yourself to help protect places like uh, Gusthaven and, and other places. That sounds perfect. We Fantastic. could do with some armor. We have, why, we have, oh my dear, we have the, the bests of armors. Uh, are you looking for something purely, are you looking for something magical, something enchanted? Um, Anything. The we bird's have armor made. We have armor made from Ethereum alloy. We Seems have... Seems expensive. Seems heavy. We got money. Well, the beautiful thing of Ethereum is it can be, it can be crafted, sir. So it is lighter or um, easier to use than many, than most. Um, yes, uh, for example, we could craft uh, what we call Aether Forged armor. Um, it makes it lighter, a bit easier to wear. Um, it can normally be applied to not all types of armor, but certainly some things, breastplates, um, chainmail, shirts, that sort of thing. Uh, okay. We also have access to weaponry. Uh, we also have a, a number of unique items crafted by our very general, our owner. She is uh, somewhat of a, uh, she likes to tinker with things, you see. Um, what kind Azaria, of Yori, and Corel. Well, for example, uh, Things such as we have um, messenger bracelets that allow you to communicate over distances. Um, earrings that allow you to understand other languages that you might not know. Uh, Hi! There are... Uh, uh, <laughs> Everybody is like, yes. One thing, if you're new to Gusthaven, you may wish to purchase a few tokens of, of Featherfall. To, if there are any accidents and you um, have to fall off anywhere, a Featherfall token is very useful to allowing the City Watch to reclaim you easier. Um, <laughs> But there are the whole the Pegasus thing, right? 
and they help. Yes, although you generally will fall, if you do not have a Featherfall token, you will fall, fall too fast. Um, there are certain areas of the city where there are enchantments that will automatically provide it, but you can't be too careful, surely. True. We call True. them Sky Wards. Uh, you can purchase those. There are things such as if you have an interest in scholarly pursuits, there are lenses that can help you with such things. Um, Cloaks that can hide, that can make it easier for you to hide amongst the lowlands if you tend to travel amongst the woodlands and that sort of thing. All sorts. And custom custom items can be crafted, crafted as well. The Perella family is, is very well versed in artifice. This is, um, they have a cafe. Pretty overwhelming. Um, well, is any, does anything strike you immediately? You seem to have a strong reaction earrings. to the earrings. Yes. How much are the earrings? Uh, we call them translator earrings. Uh, and they basically... What are you going to use it for, Kim? Kim. Kim. I'm uh, Tom is asking Kim, what are you going to use the earrings for? I can listen to everybody's languages. Who specifically? Are we talking about Smeek again? No. <laughs> it's... Oh. You're, you're involved with him, I'm not! Uh, oh. The earrings, once, once I want clipped a on, earring. it's a small, a small cuff. Um, it allows you to sp understand any <laughs> spoken language by common races. Um, it would not allow you to understand... Uh, Elementals, goblin. Uh, goblin? No, you would understand goblin. Good. Um, but things such as uh, the language of dragons or angels uh, is a little bit more tricky. No, that's fair. How, how much? What about uh, the... for just for the common languages? I mean, we could make one that would allow you to understand esoteric languages. What's um, the base one? The base one we charge two hundred gold. What's, what about the, these messenger bracelets? Yes, the messenger bracelets. We call them whisper rings. Um, they are a set. You normally purchase one for each member of your company. Uh, and they allow you to... <laughs> <laughs> for podcast listeners, uh, Trotz just Googled an image of a goblin. <laughs> And he's just it on song. screen. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you about cool magic items you can buy, guys. It's fine. How much per, oh, per bracelet? <laughs> well, we normally charge we normally charge 500 gold for each one. Oh but God. if you purchase them in a large amount, we could reduce that price. Let's say you wanted five. Convenient. <laughs> or six, or however many you wish. But five is a good number. We could charge perhaps, hmm, let's say 300 gold a piece. So 1500, I believe. I mean, 1500 would save using me as a um, middleman. I just want to tell people to fuck off from a long distance for the fun of it. I mean, you could just do that anyway. <laughs> you can just do that anyway by shouting at them. That's true. Yeah. But I mean, like a longer distance. <laughs> I mean, the magic would allow you to do a lot more. Than... It would be really fun, right? Uh, yes, yes, hey, yes. Hey, Quill. Yeah, but... Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm like 500 miles away from Ayla. Who's calling? Oh, it's Ayla. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just to remind there you that I'm still there, you know? to the messaging. Oh. Ignore them. There are limitations to the messaging. Could you please tell me about it some seems armor? Seems really we fun. Desperate yes. Armor. Yes. Well, if you want base armor, we can. We have much in stock that you could simply purchase. Um, but we could have it enchanted to make it more defensible. We could have <laughs> it enchanted. We could make it lighter. Uh, it depends on what you're after. Um, in terms of pricing, normally for a minor enchantment to increase defense is a thousand gold. Uh, we have a number of those in stock. Um, to make it lighter is about 300 gold plus the price of the armor base. Hey, Sentry. I think I really, I, th I think I really annoyed Quill. See, be really, really useful. Well, I'm, okay, sure. I mean, it's 1500 gold, that is a lot. Well, we don't have to get... Look, not there. I genuinely think we need um, armor. We, need, we need armor yeah. for That's Lucius, we need armor for Quill, possibly for me. Lucius can't wear armor. He can't wear armor. They're what? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Um, well, you're not proficient in like any armor at all. Nope, can't be. So he can't literally spells. can't even have a shield. Or he nope. can't raise this AC, this 12 AC. He can cast spells that raise his AC. Well, he's got the barrier ring, and uh, that you don't need to be proficient with yeah. shields for that. Right. Absolutely. So have that this one. thing, <laughs> this thing, 
this bird. <coughs> Me. He needs protection. The arrow cochra, yes. Um, well, I see that you have an injury. Uh, we would need to perhaps adjust it. Um, most of our armor is intended for humanoid creatures, but it could be very easily adjusted. We can do that on site here. It takes no more than an hour. And it'd be cheaper too, less material. We will still charge you the full price. Because um, it takes. <laughs> well, that's for the labor costs. <laughs> labor costs. Mm. Um, what sort okay. of armor are you looking for? Uh, what would you suggest? I mean, I am no warrior, my friend. I'm afraid that I, I couldn't make a record. just need lots of armor. We need to just encase you. Yeah, but armor. he can't, he's, he, he, he can't be too heavy because then he can't move because he's Do you have a big small. metal cube with wheels? <laughs> <laughs> no. I believe that my, my mistress was once able to create an item which would summon a fortress, but um, no, I'm afraid not. a fortress? Yeah. Maybe some, what, what kind of armor can you wear, Quill? Light, what kind medium, of armor can Quill wear? He can look at his goddamn character sheet and tell you what's under his goddamn proficiencies. Is God, what he can we'll do. get it together. To get out here, really painfully. I can wear medium armor. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> it says medium armor there. Light armor, medium armor, armor and shields. Shields. I'm proficient in shield. Yeah, you just only have one arm. It makes sense that Lucius has Yeah, he only has one arm. Barrier we'll, tape, we'll tape a shield to your face. Yeah. Armoured beak! Armoured beak boy! Ah! Oh, oh, Armoured beak! He's he can peck people! A helmet can be included if Sir wishes. Yes. Peck Let's people to death. What's your AC, Tom? 16. It's actually it's pretty bad. Yours yeah. is actually more than me! What, are you, what armour are you currently wearing? I think it's studded leather. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Mm. Uh, What's your dex modifier? Yeah, started leather. What's yeah. your dex modifier? It's uh, two, plus two. Okay, perfect. So he will take you to an armory section, which is full of different armors, and he ranges the armors and he says, well, I, I am no warrior, but in terms of if you are looking for something that is protective but not too heavy, uh, here are some options. And he displays a chain shirt, scale mail, breastplate, and a half plate. Right. Uh, the half plate is, is almost like plate mail, but only certain sections are left open. Um, the breastplate just mainly covers the chest area, and then it normally comes with some sort of helmet or a skirt. Um, I will tell you, out of character, uh, half plate is, is base AC of 15 plus your dex modifier, so it would, would be 2. Um, so 17. So it'd go up to 17. I don't know how you have an armor class of 16. Yeah, I, I think, think you're below, including the barrier ring in that. I think you were below me. I think I'm that's 15. the. 15. Because your dex is 2, studded yeah, leather is 12. Was checked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mine's 20. Yeah. Five, yeah, I got the barrier ring added to that yeah. just automatically. Mine is so. 17. Uh, breastplate 14. would be 14 plus your dex mod, which is 2. So 16. So 16. Um, so, yeah. Uh, in terms of money wise, the breastplate is 400 gold base just for normal regular breastplate, right. or 750 gold for half plate. If you would like it to be enchanted for plus one, it's an extra thousand gold. 1,750 for it. Can't do it. Well, we have 2,600 gold in treasure, and that would wipe us out. If I throw in things like, you know, equipment like the potion of longevity, the lightning braces, Gadwin's hammer. If More than has, lightning you, braces. Do you say that in character? No. Okay. I'm saying this out of character. Okay. What's um, the lightning braces? We got the them, cable. The cable the, launches. One's broken, and then yeah, you've got the. That's great. Um, you know, if we sell bits and pieces that we might have that we're not using, we could raise more, basically. I really think- I have 57 gold. As Kim, I think it's really beneficial that we should get some armor and yeah. maybe some potions. I agree. Potions. Potions. Armor yeah. and potions. You can buy potions. And an outfit for Lucius. And an outfit for Lucius. Yeah. And cake How much would a Lucius outfit cost? Yeah. Uh, 20 That's gold, I believe, for a noble yes. outfit. I'm buying cake. So we have 2,600 and then it would wipe us out. If we got, so if we got two half plates, just two, two old half plates. Can you I'd, wear medium? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're a hex warrior, aren't you? Yep. I would quite like some armor as well, because I'm on 50. Just as a note, half plate does provide disadvantage on stealth checks. Breastplate, <laughs> however, does not. So breastplate is only one less AC, but no disadvantage on stealth. Definitely worth it, we suck at stealth. So that'd be 16 for me. Uh, 14 plus dex modifier of a max of two. Yeah, so 16. Um, if your dex is higher, Kim, what's Nova's dex? 16? 3, 16. So you could pay for Aether Forged Armor, which adds 300 gold, but it means that the max dex bonus increases to plus three instead of plus two, and it weighs less. So you'd be Ooh. 17 AC? Yes. 
So that would be that would be breastplate at 400 plus 300 for Aether Forge, so 700 for that armor. But that's not a plus one. You then have to add another thousand gold if you want plus one armor as well. So that would take my AC from 15 to. I mean, it's base AC 14, 14. plus your three from Dex. Yes, yeah, so 17. And then if you get enchanted plus one, that'd be 18. So 1100 total will get 17 for you, 16 for me. Pretty damn good. Which is a big yes, increase. yeah, for 1100, because that would be no magic armor, but just better armor. Aether Forge. Aether Forge breastplate for, for Nova, and regular then regular breastplate, regular breastplate for Quill. Do you want to do that? Yeah. yeah. I'll wear anything yeah. at this point. Uh, he, this, this, you are in a very large city, and this is a very large trading step post. They'll basically take anything once they evaluate the cost of it. So if you're like, here's four ruby bracelets, they'll be like, mm, yes, yes, we'll take that as, as payment. They're cool. used to trading with adventurers and you know, del dungeon delvers and things like that. So. Okay. So it's 1,100 for what we just said. For the two armor. So Aether Forge breastplate and breastplate. For now, just put breastplate and then I'll do a custom Aether Forge one for you, Nova, and then add it in D&D Beyond. Mm -hmm. So you can add that in D&D Beyond now ah! before you forget. Okay. I'm just I've, trying to work I've taken out. off my studded leather armor. Uh, just as a point, Smeek has no armor. Don't care. No. I'm not buying armor for Smeek. Do not care. <laughs> I'm just How let him get hit. You studded leather? It's yeah. 45 gold. Oh, okay. If you just want normal studded leather. Yeah. Yeah, you buy for studded. Are you going to send she's going to buy him a little suit of armor? Little suit of armor. Yeah, he's like, Mum's going to take him shopping. He's Yay! like, <laughs> uh, So Sentry goes off and then returns. <laughs> and Smoke is. But it, the thing is, is it's Gusthaven leather armor, right? Yeah. So it's really nice. Like, oh! it's really like well made. It's halfling sized, so it only needs a little adjustment. Oh. And he's got like, <laughs> he's got like, like a little, up. he's got like a really nice, like little leather, studded leather kind of chest piece, braces, little uh, greaves around his feet. Yeah. Comes with boots, he's got proper shoes. Um, <laughs> I just want an edit. But he's still this. just got like a really crude battle axe. Nice. Like he's oh, got like this like really piece of shit club. Nice <laughs> you want to get you want to get him a nice weapon? What weapon do you want to get him? <laughs> he <laughs> likes the look of. I'm not of, paying for it. It's all right. I'm, I've, I've got he it. He likes the look it. of. I'm going to pick a weapon at random. It doesn't care if he's proficient in it. He's going to use it. Yep. Mm. He likes the look of a halberd. <laughs> <laughs> He cannot wield it very effectively, but he sees a giant halberd and he's like, yeah. bang, 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 bang. And he like, he's like picking it up and he's Don't like, Don't give him a halberd. Sentry, no. Sentry. It it's 20 gold. But he really likes it. Bang, 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 bang. He's like holding it above his he's head. He's going to stab like one a of us. Tuscan Raider. Ah, la, la, la. ah, fuck it. Yay. <laughs> la, 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 la. He like jumps up and down. Serenity. Do you want to just go? I do. I do. <laughs> yes. So. Sweet. I love it. Sweet. Ayla doesn't care, but Katie loves it. <laughs> look, Ayla. Look, he's all ready now. He's like. Oh, us. good. That means he's gonna stick around for longer. Yay. He's ready. He like. <laughs> he's like walking around with it. Speak. Speak on it. Hold it properly. Hold it by your side. It's like a little flag. He like, don't find where it anywhere. Is. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking hell! Come on, please. <laughs> That's, that was too much. I, let's just please play some D and D. Yeah. We are playing D and D. We are. Oh. We're just giving the goblins some armor. Oh, I don't know why I hate him so this much. Is pure D and D at its finest. Oh. What could be more D and D than than members of the party oh, loving a goblin and equipping him with his seven hit points? Yes. Which he still only he has, still four only has four off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not healing him. What um, what was the name of the armor? Oh, actually, you've had a short rest now. Let's have Smeek spend a second. He gets one more hit point back. <laughs> oh. oh no, he's got a com mod. He gets two hit points back. Yay! He's on six hit points, guys. It's, he's fine. <laughs> he had a higher AC than you did before the armor. I'm really? Just saying. What's his new AC? Uh, let's have a look. I'll adjust it. So, <laughs> his new AC will be... Be strong, my friend. <laughs> Loving Tom. Enjoying the Tom. He just cracked. I can't, I can't. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I quit. You can take a break. I quit. <laughs> I mean, you guys can continue on. Like, what was the name of the armor? You were still figuring out like you what you wanted. Get breastplate. breastplate. Oh, it's breastplate. And then I get fancy Essen Forge breastplate. From Mark <laughs> you just it. get this, yeah. but I get this. Oh, I, would, cool I would buy it for him, but he can't wear it. Um, Is there no. a bakery? 
Yeah, you can get a little snack. Hot plates. Can I get a little snack cake. for everybody? Yeah, you can buy cakes. Yeah, yeah that's uh, like... One cake. I was hoping to come back. If you spend one gold, you'll buy like... <laughs> but sorry, you guys go fucking everyone. shopping. Those cakes for everyone, please. <laughs> Including Smeek. Including Smeek. Because I had cake after I want a spell a little it made me bracelet of messaging. So long but you have to buy them in pairs. So the way the messaging rings work is you buy them in pairs and then you can basically use the sending spell to each other yeah. across any distance. So you can send up to 25 words. It's a lot there, right? <laughs> right, Smeek's AC has increased by one. Yes. I've now given him his halberd that he has disadvantage of when he He was in the middle of a roll. sentence and then he just started talking about Smeek. Because <laughs> I'm giving the card back. <laughs> uh, but the it halberd doesn't reach. nowhere. <laughs> it's like, like another half of Mark's brain is now Smeek and he just, <laughs> he just takes over for a second. <laughs> It's like Gollum. Just when you think you're sh So with the bracelets, it's Maybe. literally, you can send the sending spell to each other, but when, when you buy them, they're attuned to each other then and there. So if you buy one later, it's on a separate system. Yeah. Um, what, potions, healing potions, we need healing, we really need healing. How much do we have now? We have 1,500. I've got a potion of fire resistance and still. And if people want to sell stuff, like, you know, y'all can sell stuff as well if you want. That's just your face, Chop. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> in terms of potions, they basically have, I would say, up to a maximum of 10 regular healing potions at one time, and then they normally have to order some more for the next day, because um, they'll normally need to go and get alchemists to make them. In terms of super greater healing potions, which I think are the next step up, they're like 200 gold each. I think we should really get potions on how much we get smashed. Let's get as much protection as someone forgets to heal us. Tom. He might want us all dead now. Oh, I thought you were talking about Orion. <laughs> <laughs> Should have got that healing potion back off of her. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's uh, gone. Great. <laughs> Shield Thanks. and healing potion. Forgot to give it back as well. <laughs> Forgot to use it. Forgot to give it back. She's going to get home, like, open her oh, pocket. What like, have I got? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so is it 500 gold for one bracelet, or if we buy a pair? That's it. You pair have to buy a pair. One on its 000. own is useless. So it'd be 1,000 for a pair. If you want a pair. If you buy five, he'll cut the price down to 300 each. We don't need it. We only need it in situations we need where we leave Lucius yeah. behind for 25 minutes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goblin. <laughs> I'm blaming the goblin for everything at this point. We can buy like. It's fine. Seven One day patients. Sneak's going to give his life to save yours. When he does. <laughs> I'll, I'll appreciate it. We'll probably just it. kick him in the face and just be like, good! <laughs> <laughs> or we could buy five potions. Greater healing potions. And still have no, stuff. Central yeah. uh, greater healing potions, they'll have three. <laughs> no! <laughs> max. Per three day. Max. Yeah. How per much day. are the regular ones? 50. 50 gold. And then 200 gold for super cool. Yep. And they can do three graters per day, basically. I mean, you can just say, tomorrow we're going to come back and buy more. Yeah. But don't forget, you will also, just as a point, like... This is something that Nova, I think, would realise. You still need to leave Gusthaven, <laughs> which in, will mm. basically involve either booking passage on a ship or a yeah. teleportation circle. Yeah. Um, so you don't spend all your money, kids. Daddy's will money. I mean, <laughs> you don't know what's in there. <laughs> don't know what's in there. Might be nothing. We've got 1,000... I bequeath to Lucius, my son... Nothing. My best wishes. Yeah. Jeez. May he told happy us. returns. He told us 30k. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have 1,500 left, and then more if we sell things like potions of longevity. I feel, I feel bad for trot. Know, stuff. So yeah, let's try and wrap this up. Do we I'm going to give you something to think about, because I don't think we're going to get to it. No. Um, but just something to think oh. about. <laughs> Does anyone want anything else so we can wrap this bit up? No. no I'm good. Do you want the translator earring? I think if we're not getting bracelets, we don't get earrings. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do want it, but I've got I've got cantrips and stuff still. You can just use like, me as Twitter. Quill Quill can start use. He can his do message. message. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not spending a thousand we quid. Could... I'm not spending a thousand dollar dollary dues, fantasy dollary dues, so Ayla can tell someone to fuck off. But also <laughs> no, you... they'd be useful for if we get split up. That's the point of them, but, it's like, if, like, cause they can communicate yeah. across any distance. Any distance. So if, like, does sending have a limit? 25 word limit. Do you have anything that can, you can sell? No, I've okay. literally given up everything I have. How much, much. would a potion I've of got... longevity sell for? Are you asking him? Yes, 
please. Yes, for shopkeep. <laughs> yes. Um, I've got a potion of longevity. Longe did long you identify it, longe or do you, did you just write that down? Because I think that's what it was. So. But I, that was because I wanted you to write it down in the inventory. But okay. I don't think you ever identified it. Okay. Because I don't think you guys know what it does. Okay. Was it? Isn't this what we got? I don't remember. It was. It was we found in, it in the night. It was eye. in the night eyes. It was oh. in. Because that's the point. Eye. You didn't have quill to identify it. But you can ask. You can cork and identify it now. I have this. What is it? How much is it? Well, I mean, identification services we can provide. It costs a hundred gold. Cool. Nope. You identify things. I'll do it. <coughs> oh, there you go. Ten minutes later. Okay. Uh, a potion, a of, potion longevity. of longevity. <laughs> is a very rare item really? that when you drink it, you become something like a number of years younger. It, it is an incredibly rare item that defies time. What, for permanently? Yes, permanently. Do not let me drink that. <laughs> <laughs> that anyway. Would it bash. work on a guardian? <laughs> a potion of longevity, very rare. When you drink this potion, your physical age is reduced by 1d6 plus 6 years to a minimum of 13 years. Each time you subsequently oh. drink a potion of longevity, there is a 10% cumulative chance that you instead age by 1d6 plus 6 years. Come an iron nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you now, the potion will not work on Sentry. Yeah, that's Damn. easy. Yeah. And just as a point, because this has come up, Sentry, you don't feel like your time has changed since you yeah. got resurrected. You still feel like, you know that you've not got, you know, many, you got long. Deuces. <laughs> Very rare item. If you are, he looks and he's like, are you are genuinely offering this to sell? Depends on how much you're offering. I think you best speak with the mistress about that one. Ooh. Jesus! Um, let, let me go and fetch her. Uh, okay. Would you mind waiting in our VIP suites? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> you absolutely mind, or do you have? Uh, absolutely, we, we are. Will. We are on a, 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 a time limit. I will. Um, I will. If I, I'm sure that once I tell her the item of which you are uh, selling, she will be very interested. Um, yes, please. It will only be a moment. <laughs> Thank you. Are you guys okay with selling this? I it feel will. like, no, we shouldn't, because he's gone all weird, you know? But does anyone really want to be younger? Nope. I would vanish. Yeah. <laughs> I've got baby face as it is. Like... After about ten minutes... Makes me younger. The gentleman comes in, he draws, like, the door open, and then bows his head very deeply. And in walks a woman in an elegant black royal gown, like a gown, trailing oh, behind her. Yes. Um, jewelry encases her beautiful, slender elven neck. Long elven ears kind of protrude from her hair, which is tied up tightly um, and adorned with like a silver kind of hairpiece. And she comes in. Hello, welcome, my esteemed customers. Oh. Ah, very lovely to meet you. Uh, and she bows her head and she goes, uh, My name. <laughs> Bob. I am, I am Azraya Yorian Perel of the House Perel uh, here in Gusthaven, and my one of my diligent workers here has informed me that you would like to sell on a very curious item. You're free. Why, thank you very much, my dear. Um, may I see the, the potion in question? Yes. Just I'll to examine just, it. I'll just hold it up. Yes, of course. <laughs> would you mind if I touch it? Uh, yes, but no. She brings out a pearl, touches it. She's casting Identify, you recognize it. Sure. Well. My, 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 a genuine potion of longevity. These are quite rare, you know. I know only of one other individual here in Gusthaven who has ever owned some. Um, I would like to make you an offer for this item. Oh, well, we can't refuse? Well, I mean, you could, but oh, I don't perfect. know if you will. I am willing to offer you... She thinks for just a fraction of a second. Mark is taking longer, but she's like, it's a moment. Three and a half thousand gold. But do you know of only one other person to have owned such an artifact? It, artifact is a strong word. These are very rare. Uh, they take some rare ingredients to craft. I know somebody who can make them, but she generally keeps them to herself. So I'd be quite interested in only one for myself. This is a personal purchase, I should mention. This is not for resell. This would be for me to keep. I see. Who's the other person you know, who owns one? She is a scholar or researcher in the in the... Temple of Hesper, the Empyrean Archives. Okay. <laughs> um, well, can we just have a course team can. huddle? Of course you can. Cool. So, stage whisper. What do you guys think? 
it when? seems pretty rare, but then it could buy us the messenger bracelets, it could buy us the translator thingy, it could buy us some potions of not dying. Potions of not dying. Healing. That's interesting. Yeah. But I think we should sell it. We're not going to use it. No? No. Yeah? Unless we want to make something very young but disappear. It says to a minimum of 13 years old. <laughs> You'd be like, so it can't. It doesn't work. I, I would. I would. I would argue that it would reduce Quill to what the equivalent of a thirteen-year-old in relative, human years. Yeah. So it'd be like a, a one-year-old Arakokra. Okay. Baby burb. Yeah, it'd be like a little teenage baby burb. Yeah, we're not using that. <laughs> um, three and a half thousand gold is three and a half thousand gold. Maybe we could push it higher. Are you any good at bartering? Nope. People hate me. I don't know why. Try. Yeah, what do you want to do? We could get all five of the bracelets, an earring, all the potions of greater healing, and some potions of not so great healing. Well, we could also keep some money. And so keep that, some you money. Know, we as have well. money. Yeah. I just think that that would be quite valuable. Every potion of healing. Yeah. Who gets all of them? Yeah, we need them. Sure. Well, we need them. Yeah. <laughs> we need them. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the plan. Look at us. We need them. Sure. Oh, we also need Lucius's clothes as well. Still don't think. Yeah, we need Lucius's clothes. That's, that's twenty gold. Like man. Yeah. Still don't think we need to spend fifteen hundred on messenger bracelets. Milady. Yes. As much um, as you want to. We're interested in actually useful. buying five of those bracelets of sending. Um, your I think colleague who was yes. um, 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 I know sending. trying to sell us. Mm -hmm. um, and also maybe the earring of like... Uh, this is, a, is it over... I mean, I'm assuming you've distance. been told of the prices. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm happy to exchange okay. those in exchange well, we might for only the need... gold and, and, and in addition to gold. Question. If yes. Quill has sending, could you he message someone with and could you with the bracelet message? Well, when him back? you send sending, you can, you can send a, a twenty five yeah. message word yeah. back anyway. So Quill wouldn't need one. Well, if you're interested in the messenger rings, I could I could craft you something a little bit better. Ooh. The messenger rings we sell to the public are they're one use, they take a day to recharge normally and they only allow 25 words or smaller. I could, if this is for the purposes of your traveling together, the five of you with your strange goblin, um, I could <laughs> create you similar bracelets that will allow you to telepathically communicate as you wish. Mm. They would have a, a range, but we are talking 50, 10, 20 miles. <laughs> We're gonna be 10, 20 miles apart from each other. <laughs> You've just jinxed it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, no. I mean, the telepathic communication is sounds... pretty useful. I would charge a little more. Um, shall we say, I'd probably be 2,000 if you wanted five. Um, but then the earring and potions and things we can also accumulate. But they, it will take me, it will take me perhaps a couple of days to construct them. Do we want to wait a few days for these, or do we want the basic? I think we're sticking around for a little longer anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll take those. And can we have the earring as well? And can we have uh, the three greater healing potions? And and uh, that's how many? Like three, it's two, isn't it? Two, four, six. And then can we have some lesser healing potions? Mm, yes, if the, I don't keep myself appraised of the entire price of the stock. What is it, sir? Uh, 50 gold each, madam. Oh, uh, yes. Then, so, uh, for 10, you said? 500? So that would approximately bring us to, by my calculations, about 3,300? Yes. Yes, and then I could give you some gold in a pouch as, as to make up the last... Uh, 200? Yes, of course. We'll take the lot. Deal? Very well. Well, I can have the items, the earring, the potions delivered now. As I said, the, the bracelets will take some time. Um, I will have them. Do you have an address or would you like to pick them up here? We can pick them up. We'll pick them up here. Very well. Uh, Steward, make sure you take down their names, descriptions, so that we can provide them their thing. Oh, of course, madam. We need some noble clothes as well right now. Uh, yes, easy, <laughs> easily done. Uh, and I will take the potion from you. Here you go. Thank you very much. What a wonderful thing to keep. Perfect for my aging years. I don't think you need it. Uh, not yet, but I will. One day. One day. Still, 
lovely doing business with you. Uh, what were your names, by the way? And who and why why are you here in Gusthaven? Adventuring of some sort, I imagine? Pretty much, yeah. I'm Nova. Hi. Hello, Nova. Very good. I'm Sentry. Guardian, Sentry, yes. Quill. Quill. Uh Ankala. Kilak Ankala. Very good. The Ayla. Ayla. Hi. And what is this delightful creature? Uh, ah, sweet! None of your business! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was Tom again. <laughs> we tend to find quite a lot of um, uh, exquisite items. No, we're not talking about him still. <laughs> uh, items. And uh, creatures. So if, if you are interested, we could... My dear Aracoco, Mr. Quill, I am always interested in the latest enchantments or relics. Anything of historical value as well. Perfect. I like to study how the old enchantments were made. Can you recreate enchantments? You said you were able to... I can. Depends. It takes me some time. I'm very fascinated with old enchantments. Perfect. And old power. Perfect. Well, we know who you are now. You know who we are. Indeed. You are always welcome here at, uh, at my store. Indeed. Have a lovely day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Later. Bye. You guys get everything you want. So many cakes. You've got loads of cakes. cakes. I'm assuming you will come back. Yep. Head back. Got everything. Ten gold. More. Everything ever. Knock off another ten gold, Kim, for the carriage. And you return to find Lucius is dead. No. I died. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You find Lucius, uh, freshly cut, dyed hair. Oh it doesn't my. work. It doesn't work. What do you mean? It doesn't work. Yes, it does. It's fine. You just tried the new clothes on. We yeah, got... put it on with the new clothes. Maybe it'll be like uh, a oh. fancy, Combo. muted, noble, um, and all of the other adjectives you used as well. I'm going to inspect the clothing. The it's a stitching. little off the rail, but it's not bad. It's like buying from a very high-end, high street fashion place. It's like getting like a really nice outfit from like All Saints as opposed to go to H&M or something like that. It's like, oh, this is nice. Wow. You know, it's not custom, pow, it's pow, not pow, bespoke. Pow, pow, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's not bespoke, but it's still shit. nice. Thank you, you've done a fantastic job, all of you. I'm and sure you put all the effort I really into like H&M. Nothing else. I'm wearing sure. a lot of H&M clothes just now. Uh, and you only need to wear this... I, I buy Primark. Don't, don't, I'm not judging yeah. anybody. I'm wearing merchandise by High Rollers. Yeah. Yay! Yay. High Tend Rollers for 10% off. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, merch, so. I'm wearing what As always. you imagine if you're listening to the podcast. <laughs> anyway. Anything right. you want me to wear. So yeah, the, the, <laughs> clothes, the clothes look good. Dear God. They look okay. <laughs> I'll put them on. Yeah, it's it's different. It's strange seeing Lucius in still noble, still very regal, but definitely muted. It's blue. It's mainly like a dark royal blue. Um, much more regular clothes. Much more regular, but also just the dark hair and just completely seems so strikingly different on him. Is it like tangled? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anti tangled. Yeah. Well, well no, she happens the same thing to Rapunzel. She gets her short brown hair, doesn't she? At the end. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. So. Uh, <laughs> The, the main oh, thing, though, is um, his eyes still stand out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, among everything else. Did you get the, um, the black spectacles or anything? To... Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. They, they included those as well. Great. Great to mention those. Good thinking. No, let's travel back. Smeek, let's go. <gasps> you could put the earring in and oh, yeah. understand so Smeek. Smeek is now wearing beautiful Gust Haven studded leather armor and is carrying a halberd that is way too big for him. Is this, is this safe? Nope, absolutely I'm not. Gonna pull it. And he so like stands next to Sentry. If I've got the earring in. So you clip the earring on. What is that? So you clip the earring on and he, he's like, Smeek is great warrior now. <laughs> <laughs> Only Nova can understand him. I think this would be my legit encounter. Smeek is I like. Stop dying of laughter. Smeek is proud warrior. <laughs> oh, Smeek. Smeek will fight for Lightning Goddess now. Oh, he's so <laughs> a bird of sky. He's saying, lightning Goddess. Yes. He's saying he's a proud warrior and he fights for the Lightning Goddess and the Bird of Sky. <laughs> Quill. Quill. He says your name. He knows your name. Bird of Sky. That's just a bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he yeah. turns into six times. Well, what about a flamingo? Flamingos don't fly. Penguins don't fly. Great bird. You, you've been disrespecting him and he's fighting for you. Uh, no, Quill hasn't. Quill hasn't been disrespecting him. Um, well done, Smeek. He lo looks and he like looks and to you, you say, I could be where i And then Nova, you understand it of like, does she know? She understands Meek? 
like uh, questioning, like he doesn't, he, like up until now, you never knew what he, like, he, he, he thinks you might understand him. Could I try, ah, to, uh, I try and talk back to him? Like, yeah, you can try, yeah. Yeah? I mean, do you speak goblin? No. Yeah. You talk to him. But like, it was more the body language. You got the impression yeah. that because Ayla turned around and was like, good job, like it was in response to something he said. Use the earring as a lip ring, and then maybe you can speak. Lip <laughs> 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 read. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well. Yes. Anyway. Um, speak Carol. yes. Lucius, what do you think we should do next? He like nods. Um, I, I'm not sure. Uh, where do we begin? Uh, do we need more money? Not, not right now. No. Not to pursue our goals? Well, it depends what the next step with your estate is, I suppose. You mentioned something about being able to find answers. Yes. Something like that. Uh, that sounds like a good place to start. But then you short Lucius, you need to think about what you want to do after this. Revenge doesn't suit you. I know that you want to find out answers, and you should. But leave that to those of us with a bit of a colder heart. Uh, I have no intention of doing what you do. Good. Uh, I'll do it. I, I don't need revenge. She's just I'll do it. looking at Ayla. So uh, think about what you do want. What are you going to do? You're the last of the Alanastos now. I don't know. Maybe watch my friends save the world or something. Well, do what you can to help them then. I'll do my best, but I'll grow my hair back first. Because this is not working. You can't possibly save the sorry. world with a different yeah, look. Yeah, it's a good look. Thank you. It's very temporary, okay? current thing. As you finish saying that, there is strange kind of warping of air. Oh, here we go. In the middle of the room. And then almost appearing from like a small hole as if time or space had warped around it. A metal sphere. Boom. Oh, nope. Uh, run, uh, run, uh, run, uh, run, run, run. we're going to win today's episode. <laughs> oh! oh! We were gonna Holy have crap. Cake. What? We were going to have cake. <laughs> Leave the cake behind. No! <laughs> Smeek eats all the cake. Smeek eats, ah! Smeek eats that. Holy bomb shit. Thing. All right. A bomb. Damn. Maybe it's With that, we're going to read some donations. We're going to read some Patreon shit. Yeah. Oh, yay. Patreon first, Tom. Mm. Before we do it, oh was boy. Was it greater healing? Three greater Three greaters, which I think are the 44 yeah, plus fours, so. and then 10 standards. Ten okay. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys have healing. had like a lot of money. Whoops, I dropped a uh, <laughs> I think that the teleportation things, the, the, not the telepathic things, are actually going to be really useful. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we because we can, with, so. we can talk to each other in our heads. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That we didn't have the money to start with. So. Yeah. Well, that's also an ability that I don't have. Can, Plus, you, can you put down a greater healing potion in your inventory? I will write oh, it down. Melon. Greater. Melon. Here's the best thing, and this is a tip for all of you uh, DMs out there. Giving your players an ability to just telepathically communicate means that they can just have conversations at the table without having to yeah. be like, I'm whispering so the bad guys don't hear me. Mm. Blah, 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 Lucius. I'm whispering back, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, you can just be like, yeah. we use our magic rings to communicate. Me, 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 me. That's what we say. It's the last greater healing potion. Um, do you want me to take it? Cause then yeah. I can heal people. Or on people. So yeah. Put it down yep. in your inventory right now. Yeah. Don't, don't Add items potions. to your inventory, people. Oh, I always do. Mm. Yeah, I know you do. Greater. Some people don't. D Some people have items in their inventory that I think they've forgotten about. I didn't have the barrier ring in this whole time. Uh, I yeah, I've got it in my really? inventory, but it's like unequipped. Also, so you've also been carrying around a magic weapon for. Something like 20 episodes. What? Force claws. <laughs> what? what? Do you remember the guy in the bat in the uh, the ship, the Starbane oh, ship at the bottom God of the lake? Sake. Who had like the energy claws? <laughs> yeah, I got those. Give them to Smeek! No! Yes! Oh, Wolverine Smeek! Yes! Okay, that's pretty hilarious. Can everybody yeah! please add two regular healing potions as well? Please? Yes. Thank you. Do you want to start on donations, Mark, while we end? Sorry, Shit. hang on, I'm just gonna get image of. Wolverine, Wolverine Smeek out of my head. Wolverine Smeek fan art immediately. Mere Kitty, 
donated. Thank you very much. Welcome back, Bird Boy. We Thank missed you. you. Thank you. Here's hoping you don't lose that special eye again or any other limbs, TBH. Yeah. Can someone get this bird some better armor. Hey, hey. Have fun playing today. Thank you very much. Time Air 24. A late happy first year anniversary for the Aurora's campaign and congratulations on having the entire team back, including our beloved Bird Boy Quill. Yeah. Now perfect. catching up with the VODs. This is the perfect time to join my first live session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tim Air. Tim Air. <laughs> Was it? Hello, Renve. Thank you very much for the donation and message. Lightning Wing Dragon. Hi, Rollers. So decided that I record all of your achievements in the Lightfall mini campaign. If you do anything interesting or a callback to the old campaign, you get an achievement. Example, can resurrect someone. Achievement, get res erection. Ah. Oh. Wow. Thanks very much, Lightning Wing Dragon. Your achievements for Lightfall's <laughs> Descent episodes 1 and 2. P.S. will be posting these achieves during your rowist because I'm subject to VOD Squad because work, work. Achievement get, let's make a deal with a devil. Uh, Crocodile Dundee and then Dragon Rider. Oh yeah, oh, that was Dundee. a Dragon Rider yeah. already. Nice. Anyway, uh, Equestrian Rina. Drow donated. Huh? Rena jumping on the crocodile. Oh right, I thought this was just for the miniseries though, like for the... Wait, it's callbacks. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Uh, Equestrian Drow, hey guys, just popped in to show some love, hashtag VOD Squad. Thank you so much for getting me into this amazing game. I've seen every video you've put out, all 400 something hours. Wow, Thank you for the joy. Nice. P.S. Mark, will you be going to the last ever BronyCon next month? No. I do not go to BronyCon or anything like that. I like the show, I've never really been involved in the fandom that much. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Nightjar donated. Smeek emote when, Never. Smeek moach merch when, Never. also mark about Scorb's colouring. Yeah, I kept forgetting to reply to you. Blue. The darker blue. The lighter blue, sorry. The I'm rich blue. I'm still very concerned. She wants, she's going to make a plush. Nightjar's going to get like oh a Scorb God. plush. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Smeek plush when. Smeek plush. Yes. yes. With the halbert. Fen With the Ash uh, Halbert. I like that it's Halbert, Halbert as Halbert. well. Halbert. 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 Uh, Fen Ash, very generous, over half a hundo donation. Wow. Greetings, hi rollers, Thank you're the you. best. Thank you for publishing as a podcast. Also, life would not be the same without. Great to see the OG team back. I hope Recentry and Quill 2 are thick, a bit thicker skinned. Well, new armor at least thick for everyone, armor. I think. Thick yeah. armor. Thick Rear kitty. Good. Damn it, Mark, you're great at tugging the heartstrings. I love it. So glad Nanny is alive. There you go. For now. Uh, for now. Yeah. Jolty on fire eye. Nanny No Fear is the best nanny. Um, so for spelling and wikis and shit, it's spelled N O R F. Yeah, else. Norfir. Huh. It's it's, it's N O R F I R. Yeah, N O I R. I said no fear, but it's Norfir. Norfir. Trot, Trot was the one who named it, so yeah. it's right. Uh, Luchador one, you should call your group Valiant Misfortune in honor of Valor, Valor and your Misfortune adventures. Aww. Still, I think we're waiting until something like these guys are all like, yes, that's it. Um, but thank you very much. You don't need to. Name. You don't need to have a name. It's just if there's one that ever comes up and you're like, that's pretty fucking cool. The iron slots forever. <laughs> yeah, iron's, I like iron It's my slots. family now. The uh, no. Beat Bop, 556. <laughs> Bought some of the gemstone dice a while back and my players complain that they are weighted because I'm just a high roller. Much love to everyone from a guy who passed out at a festival and woke up five hours later. Wow. Wow. Thank you. I mean, they're literally carved from gemstone. They can't really be weighted. I don't know how that would work, but there you go. Uh, Shadow Wing Dragon, thank you for everything over the past year. I just wanted to compliment all the players and individuals. I thought I would donate as it's my birthday. Thank Happy, you birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Thank you very much. Zafir One, what is Nanny's name? Is it No Fear? It sounds like No Fear. How do you spend your whole life with a nanny named No Fear and not even once slightly turn into a <laughs> shady past as a badass assassin? Well, we've explained that. North P.S. The stream was great North as always. Fear. Thank you very much. It's No Fear. No Fear Nightshade was her oh, assassin cool. name. Mm. Metamanu donated, quarter hundo. Smeek is best boy. Leave it alone, Tom. <laughs> For some reason, I picture Smeek as a Pathfinder goblin rather than a yeah, D&D I, one. Yeah, I see Pathfinder I see goblin. Mixed with a gremlin, yep. Scary but adorable at the same time. Uh, with Donnie's brain on top of that. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Nightjar. Uh, again, buy Smeek one of those backpacks yes. with reins attached. Yes. Tom, don't you dare insult my sweet son. He's a good and precious boy. It's only natural to be jealous of such a magnificent creature. I want I want little reins for Smeek so I you can. You want like a little oh, like, like baby one of those harness. yeah one of those no 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 one of those stupid little oh, rain things that when there's you a lot more of these to read so I'm gonna rattle through them. Vamir donated. Hey guys, first time catching the stream live. Now that I've all caught up after my trip to Japan, well I'm Ooh. glad you had a good time. Was expecting daddy's oh plenty, but got Smeek instead. Much welcome. Now off to teach Japanese. See y'all in a month and a half. Nice. Thanks very much. See you later. Uh, Bayfar Bayfeather donated. You know, Tom, for as much as you claim to hate Smeek, you seem to talk about him a lot. <laughs> I accuse you of being a Sundere for Smeek. Uh, Smeek Bakasan. 
Uh, it's not like I like you or anything. I'm not touching that. Not Ace of Thorns. Birdie is back, and I'll form the head. Mark hugs to you all. Okay, nice. Varys donated again. Generous donation. Thank you very much. Lightning Wing Dragon. Wolverine Smeek. Have spelt no fear. We We've just said. Yes, yeah. very much. Uh, Smeek is a great warrior fighting for a goddess. Confirmed paladin. Brilliant. <gasps> Maybe Daft one day. Day 41. Well, that. Daft Day 41. Sorry, yeah. Lightning Wing Dragon. P.S. Crocodile Dundee Dragon Rider is one achievement. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Boom. Gotcha. Hi, zombies. Last donation. Woo! Can watch live today because my DM has PC problems. Great to see everyone in the community again. Also nice for the OG crew being alive. Sorry, Tom, for all the Smeek stuff. Looked like you considered killing him at least once. At least once. At I least once. Never apologize for Smeek stuff. Never apologize for Smeek. Never apologize for Smeek. We'll I just love kill him. the fact that Rhiannon is so, loves Smeek so love much. Smeek. And Tom's just like, ah. <laughs> Just, Katie oh. loves Smeek, but Ayla doesn't. Oh god. I think Ayla, Ayla doesn't. Well, Ayla, Ayla is indifferent. Like Ayla's yeah. indifferent. She finds him amusing. Yeah. But she's not that attached. Yeah. <laughs> this guy hates him. We are going to be on twitch.tv forward slash DND very shortly. Very, very shortly. Very shortly. Soon. Don't forget though, uh, Rivals of Waterdeep is streaming still. Give so them. be nice. If you say go hi. over there, be nice, say hi, yes. give them some love. Yes. Um, but you know, just be patient. We we will be officially starting at about eight, eight. Five past eight, I think. Yeah. Normally we start about five past eight, so in about 10, 15 minutes. Got a tanker um, to eat. So we gotta have, yeah, we gotta have some lunch, we gotta have some dinner, and then it's on to Lightfall's Descent, which is our brand new mini series over on Twitch.tv forward slash DD. With our campaign one characters. Campaign Woo! one characters. Plus, Let me check that out. Rhiannon's new character. Um, and then we'll be back for regular Rovers next week, yes. where I guess we'll find out what this mysterious device in Nanny's apartment is and deal with the ongoing. Elanasto fiasco. Yes, and also Elanasto. next week I'm going to print out the Patreon thing because this app is fucked. There you go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> there I'm we really go. Sorry, I'm, I will read them out. We will, we will get to it. Tom um, will we'll make him do a video if he can't. Yeah, it it's out. just yeah. it keeps crashing every time I try and open it because there's so many of you. Thank, so you. thank you very much for all of your support. So though. thank you very much. Seriously, big thank you to everybody for real support. Thank you for like just being awesome community and just being with us the whole way. We love it. We hope you enjoy it. Yes. We'll see you next time. See you. Love you. Love bye you. Bye. bye. bye.